Champions of the Realm Season 2 Week 1 was insanity. I couldn't have asked for a better start to this series. It was epic. We had some of the most craziest matches I've seen. And, you know, again, this is just the beginning. We got eight more weeks of this crazy action. Top 8 is going down this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time Zone live on my Twitch channel. Then next week is going to be going down on Caboose's Twitch channel. We had a crap ton of support on the live stream. It was absolutely insane. Anyway, check out this action that went down here. And as always, if you're enjoying this Mortal Kombat 11 action, do me a huge favor. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. There's like so many damn people watching these tournaments and not enough people hitting the subscribe button. So please, it doesn't hurt you to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it if you do. And enjoy Champions of the Realm Season 2, Week 1 Pool Play. What is up, everybody? Champions of the Realms is back. We got the homie Caboose in the building. The legendary yes, duo commentary is back for another eight weeks. And I hope you're all excited, Caboose. It's going down. Time yeah. fucking flies is all I got to say. I know it has been crazy. I mean, it, it still feels like, and I was saying this when we were doing like part one of Champions of the Realms, we were coming towards the end. But it really still feels like a week ago when we were first talking about this and you were like, yo, you want to do a tournament? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, and here we yeah. are. Champions of the Realms 2. It's time. It's here. I'm friggin' excited, man. Oh, yeah, it's going to be crazy. You know, we got Console Gaming League on board for the second season. <laughs> and we're ending the stream. <laughs> and we're ending the stream. down. I want to see a lot of hype in the chat. I want to see Destroyer's emotes. If you got my emotes, I want to see my emotes. I just want to see some hype in the chat right now. Champions of the Realms 2, it's finally here. Custom variations, down baton, rocking the Night King. I see the Amplified Ice. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. And then keep the fight with Sindel, rocking the new skin, too. Rocking the new skin. I didn't even get to see, like, what's he... Oh, by the way, I wanted to ask him to be... Is Caboose's uh, audio fine? Do we have to bump him My up or... My better be fucking incredible. I didn't... I, I forgot to ask. We totally forgot to ask. I think you're good. It better be. Oh, you are. You're good, brother. You're good. I oh, think, he, you know what? Oh, I so want low? you to... Okay, I'll lower him just down. Just for that, I want you... <laughs> just for that, I want you to bump me up and then lower your volume to, like, two. Casting out my ancestors. Like you guys hear me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys still, yo, you guys still hear me? We come, yo, Spanky Dude, so come on, bro, bump me back up, yo. Oh man, he's trying to violate me. Oh, we got a it. tournament to run. Hold on, dude, no, don't play with me, bro, because Sindel dead ass looking like she came straight out of Cyberpunk, bro. Oh, oh my God, God. Cyberpunk! <laughs> <laughs> she got the That's cybernetic so arms. She got. Oh, also, Mary Luna in the chat. Everybody, the ultimate admin of the tournament. If anybody needs help, make sure to contact Mary Luna on Smash.g. GG. She will more mm -hmm. than gladly help you out with whatever issues you got going on. So don't get salty if you get DQ'd on some dumb shit and you don't contact nobody. It's going to be it's on you. Fault. Yeah, you got to pay attention to this stuff. It's a 15-minute DQ timer. So chop, chop. We're, we don't want to be here all day. We want to play some fucking cyberpunk. Oh, my God. He's yeah. going to get a throw early on. Dalbaton right now putting the pressure on Geek Defy immediately. Wait, did I forget to? Spanky Doodle. The music! Thank you, Doodle. Come on! Okay, 
Okay, there we go. Nice. Gets the corner combo going. Dombaton rocking that Sub-Zero. Good throw, though, from Geek to fight. Now has a corner advantage for himself. Oh, a little down two action interrupt. It's crossed up. That creeping ice. Oh, the instant air. Nicely done there from Dombaton. Gonna get a good combo off that forward two into the launcher. Drops the combo, though. Fight in a bad position. Oh, he's, he's gonna get a really throw. Guess. Good throw. Yeah, this oh, is really good stuff. Maybe he's looking for the, uh, the um, escape fail. What? Oh, what? No, we did not catch what? No, we did not. Oh, no. no. We did not just witness that. Oh, no. <laughs> did that just happen? No. <laughs> did that just happen? This man froze the tip of her hair. And that shit was oh a GG's at that point. God. Bro, this dude geek the fight right now is geeked out. You know he's sitting in his chair, <laughs> foaming out the mouth, trying to figure out what the hell just happened. Oh man. He gotta take the chip out of his head with Keanu Reeves next to him, like, wake the fuck up, samurai. Basically. <laughs> we got that Johnny was, Silverhand uh, just with bad intentions all day. That was rough. Sub -Zero. Yeah, super, super rough stuff we were witnessing right there, man. Unfortunately, he's going to get screwed over by one of the most craziest hitboxes we've seen in a minute. Down Baton going up game number one on their Cyberpunk Totona. What? Huh? The Cyberpunk what? Sorry. That was that the name said? of the game? What you said? Uh, what did you say? Oh, what shit. Is Hold on. You said something? Oh, shit. The Cyberpunk Totona? Oh, shit. <laughs> you said it. Game number two here. Let's see if Geek Defy is going to be able to tighten up. I like he, he went with like that standard Sindel start, you know, the, the back two, try to catch somebody slipping. I respect it. I respect it. He's asserting dominance early on. Oh, the jumping kick. This guy thinks he's playing pre-patch MK11 right now. Oh, man, I thought he was plus on that jump kick. Really late breakaway there. Probably an input error, I'm not sure. Oh, we gotta watch out, we gotta watch out for that crush. Oh my god. Nice overhead. The forward two into the screen gets punished. Good oh, stuff. Oh, this is juicy. Look at that conversion, bro. This man is locked and loaded. He's ready. Oh, the oh, mom is setting him down. Nice. Oh. The overhead again. And Maniac? that's a good block. Oh, could have gone for a fatal blow there to potentially end the round. Oh, the down two. The down two anti-air. He goes for the oh, forward two stagger. Oh, that overhead stagger was kind of smart. Going under the EX ice ball. No, that's going to be a punish. Down baton that's, that's will tough. get the round. That's life. tough right there. Very tough. Let's see if he's going to be able to tighten up here. Let's see if Sindel's gonna be able to tighten those butt cheeks. Wait a minute, the back trade oh, on Geek the Fly's <laughs> side. Oh my god, look at this combo we're seeing here. Custom variations, boy. Huge 310 there. Catches the jump three. Keeping Geek to find the corner, crushing the combo. Okay, and the wake up fatal blow desperation will connect. This is gonna be good damage for Down Baton. Maybe the beginnings of a comeback. He needs to make zero mistakes from here on, though. Listen, four. we've seen this numerous times before. Can I jump in? Okay. Nice neutral jump. Okay, that was risky stuff, but it works out. Wait a second. Oh, the flawless block from down baton. And that's going to close out the game. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Another brutal? Yes, indeed. Chopping off the head twice in a row, Caboose. This oh, man is sending a statement here. So he needs a snowman and for us. <laughs> and that he made that? I, I mean I'm thankful for that snowman because Christmas is around the corner. So huge shout outs yeah. to uh, Blizzard setting the tone here. Dropping the snowman brutality from Sub Zero with the Ice King looking badass than it more, more badass than ever. As Sindel sits in the All corner, right. headless. Alright. I'm gonna go put Sabbath on. All right, I'm joining you. We're we're ending the stream, guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. We'll see you all tomorrow for uh, the We Play sixty thousand dollar tournament. We'll be on Cyberpunk oh, till then. No lie though, uh, I was telling Caboose, and I don't think I'm I'm trolling about this. 
after this tournament's done, I'm gonna go take a big shit in the toilet. I'm gonna drink a G Fuel, <laughs> and I'm gonna play Cyberpunk yeah. for like probably fucking harming out heart like really bad amount of hours to the point where my eyes sag into my my head. I'm what like a zombie. What code you use for G Fuel though? Caboose. What do you think? That's the sub. I'm using yes, code sir. Caboose. What do you? Yes, what sir. Do you think? <laughs> I'm using code Gerson. What do you What do you think? Wait, wait, huh? All right, this is it. This is it. He switched to Joker. Geek the fight right now. What kind of custom Joker are we going to be seeing out of this? Ooh, wow, that with. Start. That would have been a crush. Did you saw those big ass gloves on the floor there? I did. Where did they come from? Don't worry about it. Did, did, did the Joker just shit out those gloves? He did, he did. Ooh, dropping the combo. This is looking like all Blizzard right now, man. This guy's in full control here. He's got the creeping ice. He's got the EX ice ball. I was literally just talking yes. about that before we started the match. Thank you so much this for the subs, tough. guys. Really appreciate it. Oh my god, he's dead. Wow, Down Baton is playing extremely well here. And you can just see in the difference between how defensively Geek Defy is playing versus how just in your face Down Baton is playing. Yup. He got him with the throw. He's gonna open him nice. up. Oh my god, here we go. Switching this combo. That, bro, that side switch combo. Oh my Ooh. god, Sense in the City, this man's on fire. Okay, how do you stop this man? Yo! No breakaway, no! what's happening all here? Right, That's right. 42%. Oh, no, no, I'm switching. Geek Defy on his last leg. What happened? No breakaway. Oh and the wake god. up roll gets stuffed. That's gonna be it. Wait. Oh no, he mercied. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, please, make it stop. Throw the damn towel. Throw the damn towel! Holy Another shit. Brutal. He had to catch that brutal. He had to catch that brutal. Are we gonna row. see the snowman? Are, are we gonna, are we gonna could, see the, he the snowman? He couldn't do it. It gave, him a, it gave him a different pose at the end. He couldn't do it. Oh. Holy smokes. Wow, Geek the Fight getting completely annihilated for the first start of the Champions of the Realms too. Now listen, Geek the Fight, I gotta say, man, kudos to you showing up and, and putting putting the work to the test there. I appreciate you, man. But wow, that certainly wasn't easy. I mean, a Sub Zero, and and from what we've seen previously of Down Baton, a really good Sub Zero at that is not an easy opponent to go up against. Um, but good stuff there from Down Baton, taking it three zero, getting the brutality three games in a row. Even off the Mercy, that was pretty insane. They are here. Yes. But I agree with you, uh, especially with the new DLC reveal and all the changes that came to the competitive play for MK11. It feels like, you know, the hype is higher than it's been in a long, long time. And so now is certainly an opportunity, if there ever was one, to make a statement on the scene. And, you know, like, this, this, there's going to be a lot of online tournaments going on for sure. So you, this could be first the first of many opportunities. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, look at this. They're going right at it. Yo, hold on. Uh, I don't know if you were watching Caboose. The other day they were they were doing a um, League of Latina for the Mortal Kombat Pro Competition. Yeah. By the way, shout out right. to the Pro Competition. You know, they, they started back up. We got Champions of the Realm starting back up. There's just so much Mortal Kombat 11 action and just so much for you competitors to uh, compete in. There's so much content for you guys right now, and it's just mm -hmm. such an exciting time. But I just want to uh, talk about, there was a player that entered the tournament with a variation name, and it was a penis. Did you see that? Oh my god. No. <laughs> His variation that's, name uh, was- That's was, pretty unreal. Dude, it was hilarious. The pro competition, like literally, the stream shut, like they went to, to a shutdown for like two seconds, Ooh. and when the stream came back up, the penis was gone. Oh really? Yeah, I did. Did they tell him to change it, or did they think they made him change it or something, bro? Oh They say, yo, you gotta get that dick off the screen, kid. <laughs> they say, what are you doing? All right, I'm sorry, guys, for taking away from this crazy set right now. You, you're unreal. All right, I'll oh, leave nice into the overhead. <laughs> Ring leader, trying to make up for what happened in the last round. There, he did lose a fatal blow off that last round. Look at all these staggers from Coolio. Now stuck in the corner. He has a combo potential. Oh, but it's dropped from ringleader. Still with the life lead. Gets thrown into the corner, though. Coolio just made an amazing read, avoiding the command grab from Jax. You know, that command grab from Jax is so devastating. It's almost 
It's basically a guaranteed 50% combo. Ooh. If you got your, your execution on point. Oh, he dropped the combo. Wow. Second chance, but no, Ringleader's not going to be able to take advantage of it, and Coolio will take game number one. I'm Coolio! <laughs> Yo, well, who was that? Was that him? I don't know. Who? What the fuck was that? I don't, I, hey, don't ask me. I have no fucking clue what that was. Yo. Wally Kabalan. What the was fuck? That? Don't tell me that was Tyler Lansdowne. What was that? What was that? They're saying it was Tyler Lansdowne right now. Okay. No, that was that was weird. Oh, hold on. Now they're saying it was Terry Terry Crews? Jerks. <laughs> Yo, destroyer. <laughs> Why you got him as Coelho? <laughs> oh, that's did that mess it up? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Leave it alone. Don't even look at it. Let's go. Evolvo, Evolvo. <laughs> Listen, one thing about the Champions of the Realms, I got to tell you, sometimes we'll, you get a different branding on your name, you know? Right, right. I know. I know you didn't forget about Emperor Kid Nick. <laughs> oh, man. I, I know you didn't forget about that dude. Of course. Oh, they're already getting started hot and spicy. Uh, let me change his name. What is it? I gotta Just remove that E? The first E, yeah. All right, nice throw. Okay, good stuff with the command grab there from ringleader. Oh, looking for a projectile. Gets caught by the forward four, no follow-up. The low projectile. Coolio with the throw now. Very nice. Throwing some fireballs here, trying to keep that spacing game on point. But wait a minute, ringleader, trying to put that pressure. But just as he, just as he flips the switch, Coolio just sits him right back down in that corner. Oh my character, God! The king of staggers, the king of just having you afraid to press a single button, asserting his dominance. Coolio takes that first round. Yeah, this is looking tough right now. Wow! wow. Dude, he just hit standing one in the neutral out of nowhere to stop. Ringleader in his tracks. No, seriously, okay. Nicely done. Good little combo there with the gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, we got short hops in play. I like this life lead. Get that nice. punish, baby. Bust that head open. Let's see if he's going to get it. Oh, that could have been close. All right. He's zoning out. Wow, use the fly kick to get in range. Oh, hard. Nah, yeah, this that, guy. That was intentional. Huh? I think it was intentional. Coolio is, is getting insanity right now. Gonna give Jax a little back massage. Hold on. He opens him up with the overhead. Wow. You gotta be so careful. Oh, God, that could have been huge. Nice. Went for the low. Oh, oh the jump in. Oh, there were so many opportunities there for Julio to get that one hit that he needed in into the fatal blow. But luckily, ringleader was able to escape with his life and tie up these rounds. Oh, my God. We got to punish. Oh, my oh, God. He connected it. Pretty. He connected that it. That was pretty. Air fireball straight into a flying kick crushing blow. That is something you rarely see. I don't know why the hell it's even a thing. But it's a thing. Oh my god, these guys are having a little stagger war here. The down to whiff! He's gonna get an escape it fail. Failed. This is bad. This oh, is really no. bad here. Whoa. One throw will He's do done. it, and I believe that's the He's one. Dead. And when he drops, yeah. No. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Oh, no. no flawless block will allow that to do enough chip. Or actually, I think he just pressed buttons on the amplification. And that's gonna take game number two for Julio. Damn. Oh, uh, what's happening here, Caboose? You know, season two, these players are coming in hungry as hell. We're getting speed runs back to back. Three. Well, I can't say it's a speed run just yet. Ringleader still has a chance to hold his own yep. here. He yep. has one more game on the table that's going to determine uh, everything. It's because of Evolvo. Oh, shit. I was actually looking, paying very close attention to the brackets, and I'm going <laughs> to uh, confirm Evolvo mm -hmm. is not in this week. But if oh, he does make man. an appearance in one of the other weeks, I'm definitely going <laughs> to highlight that name because... I'm waiting just to see what I, the chat's going to look listen, like. Listen, <laughs> I remember the name, but I don't know. I don't remember what the hell happened with him. <laughs> I, I, think it, I, I, think it was, I think it was similar to how I said um, uh, Emperor Kidnick. 
I think I said it Volvo. <laughs> and, and, or no, maybe you typed it out wrong for the for the names at the top or something. I can't remember. But I just know that it became a thing. <laughs> oh no, already starting off savage. Oh, we got the we got the Champions of the Realms mascot in the background there. Oh yeah, this is getting pretty heated right here, bro. I think this is this is All purposeful. Right. This is happening this is happening on purpose right now. Everybody yeah, new, be huh? careful. Another one put this shit <laughs> for you guys with a stream. He's gonna get the nice. throw. Oh. He's gonna step on his back again. Action Jackson is gonna have to think fast. Oh, wow. Things are not looking. Blocked. Yeah, he's wilding out, bro. This man is really showing oh. out for Emperor Clan here. Not sure what Ringleader was doing there. Getting hit by the third projectile and the forward one straight into the dragon kick. We'll get another round putting Coolio on match point. Fight. Bro, what is going on? What is that? Wow, what an interruption! I believe Crushing Glow is locked and loaded now on that bicycle kick. Yes, indeed. 350 damage and the corner. Green leader got to find something in him. Gets the overhead to land. Oh, punish off of the overcommitment oh from the wake up roll. Look at the damage on this. Stop it. Oh, did he go for armor breaker? Oh, oh my, my God. lord. He just snapped his fucking neck out of proportion. I think he went for the armor breaker. He was oh. expecting that breakaway. Oh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? He's missing his jaw. Jax nah, is missing. Right. He'll be okay. Wow. We'll have an interview with him later where he's like, you know? <laughs> how's, how's he gonna say it what is he gonna say i can only do that one time <laughs> that's crazy i would actually like to see how that interview goes down and you know yeah that that, that actually if you want to see that in play you just gotta uh -huh. get johnny cage's fatality the one where he that's uh, right punches your fucking jaw off and he starts doing the the little mime that's the, the puppet one. show Oh wait, that one? Which one is it? The, where, the, where jaw, he... the one where he punches your jaw off is the one where they do like the like the ten takes or whatever. That one then. Sorry, I got everything yeah. mixed up. Come on, man. Cyberbook twenty seventy seven. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Everybody have a good one. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, samurai. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me see what the next match is here. Um, I see K seven show off said I'm on PC now. Hey, K seven, this is a PlayStation tournament. No, he's what talking you... about for Smash, I think. For Smash GG. Oh, I was about to say, yo, if you're on PC for the PlayStation tournament, then we're switching to PC. Everybody better get a PC right now. And he said he was over. on mobile earlier. What do you think he was playing Mortal Kombat 11 mobile? <laughs> to get, to get into this tournament. <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to come at, at Mary with that one. They'd be like, I'm waiting in my mobile. I got my tag team ready. <laughs> Mary's gonna say, what the hell? <laughs> These players are joining too quick. Everything's happening so you're fast. Just, you're out of your mind. I don't even know. Oh, oh what, doing? what happened? Oh the my God! Purple rain? Prince is we here. We got rain in the building already. Okay. So now it's getting real serious. I told you. I made. I made the yep. prediction. I said when this yep. match right here is gonna be a problem. We got Achilles pulling out rain rocket, hydro boost, hydroplane, and Gerson palm. <laughs> Yo, that should be the name. Uh, yeah, he's got pretty much the best thing that you want to apply for rain to get like the most damage out of the character. And Geyser Palm, that's the one where you can cancel it, right? And it's got that crushing glow. That's an oh, is it? I don't know. I think, that, I think so. If yo, it is, thick skin. Yo, if that is a move, I feel like. Oh, let me let the. Oh, never mind. They skipped that shit anyways. Damn. I was gonna say Geyser Palm is like one of the ultimate whip punisher moves. You know, if you if yes. you make a read on somebody's wake up, bam, throw out Geyser Palm. You get that quick it's step over. back into the crushing blow. Waka taka pintus buries the fuck out my face, bitch. Mm. Sorry, sorry. I got a little out of control there. <laughs> I love Achilles' variation name, too. Melted from zero. Wow. Amplifies the... What is it? The, it's the Qatar toss? It is the Qatar. And right now, I have the, the audio muted for me. Thank God. Because Rain has one of the most ear raping sounds I've ever heard in a oh, fighting game. His back two one two, right? Oh my god, it's like shing 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 shing. It is it is seriously ear piercing. Yeah, it, it was killing me. Oh my god! Oh! Got hit with the fatal blow! This could be huge right now. That was clean! It's Super not gonna clean. Kill. No, it's not. Good damage. Hella damage. Oh my god, oh the god. respect! 
Oh, he goes for the pressure. Oh my God, what's going on? Oh, oh. The hat. He does the jump. The and the throw. The That's going to do it. Wow. Good, boost. Good stuff there from Achilles. Look at this. He's throwing a lot of guitars all over the place. He's got the hat locked and loaded. Oh, thank God that doesn't combo on hit, right? Imagine that hit connects and he gets a combo off of it. That would have been a oh, problem. That would be I would have uninstalled. Oh, oh that's crush. I didn't even know there was an escape fail. Me neither. Esther for Achilles. Oh, that is definitely an input error on the breakaway from Paul. Achilles right now playing out of his mind with rain. Oh, he's going to open him okay. up. This could be the start of a comeback. You know the powers of Kung Lao once he gets he rolling. Absolutely capable, but what Whoa. a great couple of hits there from Achilles who ends it with the overhead string. By the way, can somebody in the chat please confirm that Achilles is MCG? Because if I got this guy in the wrong team, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Yo, I love this outro, how the, the last little drop of water uh, gets like popped or whatever from like his toe. Look, more popping on my screen. This shit's incredible. Yeah, the, yo, Rain is just like presentation. He's such a cool character in this game. They really did him justice. Wait, he's not MCG? Oh my god, oh, what am I doing? I'm so sorry guys. You know, I, there's so many of y'all that compete in, my in the tournaments. I don't even know who's who anymore. I'm so sorry. So, but MCG basically stand for mad. I can't even think of something. <laughs> you tried. You know what it stands for? It stands for wake the fuck up, samurai. We got a city to burn. I swear to God, you say that one more time, I'm out. What? I'm just telling you what MCG stands for. Listen, like, I, I got my... Holy Whoa! shit! Holy shit, hold on. I want to give a huge special shout out to J-Buddy real quick. I don't know if you guys saw on my Twitter page, but J-Buddy recently copped some merch. He bought some merch. He sent over some, some sexy pictures, and I had to give him a huge shout out because of it. J-Buddy, thank you so much for the constant support. He also constantly dropping support on numerous content creators, man. J-Buddy is a wild well. supporter. Yeah, J-Buddy, you do impress me. He said you do impress me? Yeah. What do you mean you do impress me? He, he impressed me. You don't impress what? me. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Yo, I think Koto Khan thinks different. Koto Khan, <laughs> why'd you say that? Jay Buddy definitely impresses us. What do you. Ooh! 1 3 in the mean, fatal. Koto Khan? Yo, Good Koto damage Khan. for Achilles. Not gonna close though. What, what, what's Koto Khan saying? I'll kick his ass. He's talking mad shit right now. Yo, Koto Khan, how do you feel about this tournament? You don't impress me. What? Oh no, that's a fatal wasted after Paul Koto, gets that combo. Koto Khan, how do you like the, how do you like this match? You don't impress and me. Fuck you, Koto! You serious right now? Holy shit, alright. Whoa. You don't, you Whoa. Don't, you, Everybody's allowed to have their own opinion. Don't, you, you don't impress fuck me. Fuck you, Koto Khan, I'm done with you! You don't impress me. Nice tech on the throw. This has certainly put Achilles in a bad spot. He lost that fatal blow. His pulse was able to close out the round. Pulse maybe looking for the breakaway there. Hey, if you want to donate here. to the tournament, exclamation point, Macharino in the chat. Exclamation point, Macharino. I saw somebody in the chat who was asking, how do you donate? If you want to donate to the tournament for the finale prize pool for the competitors, exclamation point, Macharino in the chat. Yo, Caboose, this match is crazy or what? Yeah, that is tough. A, a tough way to lose there. Pulse closing things out. The only thing about the back 2 one 2 as, as good of a move or as good of a string as it is for rain, is the range on it is bad. You have to be right up against your opponent for that shit to hit. Holy shit. And shout outs to all 1,000 viewers right now, man. You know... Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see a lot of a lot of uh, new newcomers and just a lot of old faces back in the chat. Uh, you know, thank you so much from me and Caboose, man. We really appreciate it. All the support you guys get for this series, pretty crazy. You do impress me. <laughs> Yo, I had to I had to literally push Koto Khan out the rope. He's breaking down my door right now, but <laughs> I think I got about 20 more minutes to live. All right, hold on. Let me go kick his ass. Give me one second. Fuck him up, bro. Teach him a lesson. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit, what's going on here, yo? Bitch! Oh my god. Alright. Sorry about that. So people are really fighting right now. I think you just you just ended Kotal Khan. I think you did him worse oh, than you heard that? Oh, I think I'm you did sorry. I think you did him worse than Aftermath. That's my bad. <laughs> Oh, look at this pressure from from Rain. He's like plus nine, I think, right? Near double digits uh, with that. Uh, for, for which one? Where he jumps in the air with the fucking the shit with the water. Oh, the, yes, yes, the hydro boost. Where he does yeah, the, 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 the thing with the with really the shit. Good move. The hydro boost is a really good move. For Rain. Oh my god, what's going on here? He's gonna open him up, and the back and forth between these two players is uncanny oh, wow. right now. Gonna catch him with the throw, and that's gonna be a done diddly do. Achilles taking round number one in game number three here. We had our first nice little back and forth for champions of the round two between Achilles and Pauls here. I just wanna say, I predicted it. Nice. I called it. Good, Antia. You did. I want full credit that for this match being clean. nice. 29% on that combo. Oh, but gets caught. Pulse is gonna answer now. Oh no. He tried to hit him with the stuff with the meaties, but the delay wake up from Achilles. Wait a minute, look at this pressure right now from Pulse. Just delivering the ass whooping of a lifetime here. Ooh! Ooh! Nice back 2-1-2 two, two, connect. Sorry, Down sorry. one. Pulse does have that fatal blow. What the hell? Oh my god, he's got the pressure on lockdown. The down three to just get a little breathing oh. room. No hey, way. He's got it. No he's way. He's got it. No way. No way. No way. Great conversion there from Paul. Knew he needed just one little opening to connect, and he found it with the forward one three. Very, that was so clutch from Pulse. You know, just the simple fact that he was able to confirm that with such little notice. Unbelievable. Yeah. Staying alive here. Oh, that's gonna be a. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa! That could have been a big punish. Dude, that could have been a clutch blow there for Achilles. Missed opportunity. And you never know, that 30% life that you have raced off of Paul's health bar could be the make or break. But okay, gets a cross up and another punish, but doesn't follow up with anything. What's happening? Oh my goodness, dropped combos now. Unless that's intentional, maybe. I have no clue. Okay, 1 3 4 connects. Back to two. Oh, good flawless block there from Pulse. That is one way to counter the pressure that you get off of the Hydra. Okay. One with the pressure right now. He's going to catch him with the overhead off that string. Nice throw. Stay back. Watch out for the guitar toss. Oh, no. He was looking for the down three to hit. But unfortunately, Pulse with that move is lifted off the ground. The first bit of it is a high, but... That, uh, the last bit of that hit, I think, what is that? Is four three? Uh, don't ask me strings about any of these characters because I don't know jack <laughs> shit. But what I can tell you is that shit was overhead. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. But yo, Achilles right now up 2 1 on pulse, bro. What is going on here? I mean, not to discredit Achilles or anything, yeah, he's definitely capable of doing this to pulse, but this is not the outcome I was expecting here. Holy cow. Achilles is going ham and with rain at that he's going up against somebody's main character, bro And you better not tell me. Oh, he don't know the matchup These players have had quite some time now to learn these matchups You know, we, we gave it about a two weeks length to let that DLC marinate and let these players more get used that, to the right? Was it more than two weeks? weeks? Almost three weeks. I think oh, whatever it was, whatever it was we gave we gave him time So this is pretty damn impressive right now so you see your boy Achilles putting in this work with Rain. Let's see if Pulse is going to be able to turn this around, putting all his money on the line here with Kung Lao, Kung Pao. Kung Lao said, don't call me fucking Kung Pao. Yo, Kung Lao, don't say that to me, bro. Huh? Why Kung Lao said that? What? Why he said that to me? <laughs> um, moving on. <laughs> nice Hydra boost there. That's gonna be 29%. That's another thing I love about Rain too, especially with the Hydra Boost. The combos are so sick. Oh. They feel very rewarding when you land them, you know? 
Yeah, Rain is definitely a weird subject to touch on because people say he's great. People say he's heavy execution. People say his movement is god tier. People say he's super punishable. He's like all over the place, you know, in opinions and and just. I think he's a solid oh. character. Wow, that was nuts. That was good stuff there from Paul. Again, just finding an opening to get the fate of low confirmation. Steals the round. Although honestly, I don't know. Did he even really need to do that? I mean, because he might he might have been able to close that out without having to worry about using the Fatal Blow, although he didn't have meter, so maybe that's why. Well, you also got to factor in, dude, when you're down 2-1 on a psychopathic rain player such as Achilles, yeah. you know, you're going to jump ship immediately. You're not even going to second think anything. You got the Fatal right. Blow locked and loaded, ready to kill. You're going oh, for it. No. Oh, no. The conversion off the down 2 anti-air. Bro, that Hydro Boost in the corner is not right. For, for one bar, for one amplification, this man can put the pressure of a lifetime. The pressure of a thousand dragons right on top of your face. Yeah. Look at that movement right now. He's got incredible forward dashes, incredible back dashes. Look at that. He went in and out and he didn't even fuck. It was like one input to that back dash. And <laughs> what did he get it in and out? What do they sell there? He got the, is that where they sell the, the crazy animal fries or some shit? That, yeah, exactly. He yeah. got an order That's of animal fries, and he got the Gerson uh, Classic. The luck. The Gerson oh, Deluxe. Wait, it's huge. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, oh my God. and that's going to be it. Brutal? Oh, no brutal. Come on. What are you doing, Pauls? I would have done the brutal Come just on. out of, like, anger and hype <laughs> alone, you know? So, so what he got there was what he was looking for out of the last game. I believe, again, I think it's the 4-3 from Rain, where he does that little, that little two kicks towards you. And he gets a down two off of that. Then he converts that down two into a down or a, from a down one into the spin and was able to get a full combo off of it. Good stuff from Pulse, sending us to the first game five for Champions of the Realms 2. Get hype, motherfuckers, this is it. First game five, Champions of the Realm 2. I couldn't be any more excited. We got a shit ton of viewers. We got Caboose in the building. We got Console Gaming League sponsor in the tournament. This is it, get hype. Then we're uh, we're leaving. We're gone. We're gonna get uh, Sylvester Stallone to commentate for the rest of the tournament, and he's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, you 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 what? All you're gonna understand is plus frames. You just say, <laughs> plus frames. <laughs> That's it. If you, if you looked away from your screen for two seconds with Sylvester Stallone you, you miss a whole match. <laughs> That's it. 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 Like a micro micro duck punish or something, but Achilles just is putting the pressure so hard here. Oh my Ooh. god, that was sick! Dude, that was so we sick. Haven't seen that. We haven't seen that for all these games, and he's finally starting to utilize that move. Oh, he's popping off right now. This guy is melting diarrhea all over Kung Lao. Oh my god. Oh, I mean Sub Zero. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Another throw gets teched that time, though. Good stuff from Achilles. The flawless block. That's crazy how you can amplify it and throw out another Qatar toss immediately. An escape fail off that throw. If anything, even off a lost round here, the silver lining for Pulse is that he has that. And Achilles was ready for the throw that time. Didn't need to go for the crush. So he does lose that down to crushing blow. But still, match point for Achilles. This is pretty wild here, man. Achilles is just putting everything on Pulse. He's got to wake up. He's got to put in... That extra Kung Lao action here. Oh my god, what? That actually caught. If he would have converted that, that could have been huge. Achilles right now, no defensive meter. Wow. He's got all, all this pressure, and Pulse is taking us to a wow. final match, final Flawless. everything. 
flawless pulse has awoken has that crushing blow still locked and loaded that was crazy he's playing a good game he's playing a good game too against achilles since achilles is expecting that back throw he's looking for that crush and he misses it that time oh and my then god yeah, crushing blow 30 percent for paul oh, oh. oh wait a second oh my god he got the ghetto roll he actually caught the buttons after it achilles is still alive Knock here down, no. No way. oh what a flawless block Achilles right now. He's going to get opened up. Oh, this could no. be huge. He's not going to die. He had breakaway. Oh, my God. The oh. punish. Oh, oh, my God. He's going to go pay the blow immediately off the back one. No, dude. It's going to be about 35%. The tournament just started. The tournament just started. What's going this on? Is insane. The this tournament is insane. just started. What's going on, bro? Now, right now, Achilles with the life lead, but oh Holy god, shit. is this a scary position for him to be in, especially considering the fact he has that no meter. has been in Stop, this don't position jump, before. Dude, that projectile's too fast. What are you doing? He oh, goes the incorrectable. Whoa! And the back two! Oh my god, I almost took down my whole setup. The back two and Rain gonna pull up the hydro disc. And he's gonna say, you don't impress me. <laughs> Rain said that? Holy smokes. Rain said that one? Oh, man. He did, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Remember remember when he was in Arachnomakotal and MKX? Where do you think he learned it from? Yo. Rain and, Rain and MKX, even though... You gotta he, know the lore. Even though Rain was short-lived in MKX and he was in a couple mods here and there, I gotta say, he had a pretty cool design. But the way they uh, reinvented Rain here for MK11, man... They went above and beyond, especially that. Did you see that costume Achilles had on? Oh my God, yes. that shit was sexy as hell. Yes, I agree. I absolutely agree. Rain's customization is sick. The only thing he's missing is his MK9 look. I don't know what they were thinking not putting the MK9 look in the game, you know? And the mask that he had in him, come on. Um. You know? No, I, I agree That's with you 100%. In my, in my personal opinion. All right, we got another match here. Uh, This one. Oh, yeah, shit. I knocked down this fucking thing. What did you do? Almost knocked down the whole fucking monitor. But, yo, this next, ma this next match here is going to uh, get you interested, bro. We got Emperor oh. Aztec mm. stepping in to the battlefield right now. Yep. He's gonna against? Be, he's going to be going up against Adam the Gray. Oh, that should be good. Aztec, I believe, if I remember remembering cor correctly, Aztec was one we saw him like make top eight almost every week for Champions of the Realms one, right? You are correct with that Kotal. You are correct. He got with that Kotal con. Yeah, dude, he literally got into the to the top eight. I think like freaking seventy, almost eighty percent of the time. And it was so unfortunate. I honestly think it was like all but two different, like two separate weeks that he yeah. made top. And it was unfortunate because I remember talking to Caboose in the side and I was like, dude. Besides that, he made top eight like every week. Yeah, and I was like, dude, this is going to be fucked up if this guy doesn't get into the finale because he's been trying so hard. <laughs> and unfortunately, it just didn't happen. Yeah. So, dude, I'm really pulling for Emperor Aztec here. And again, I'm not trying to be biased. I'm just going off the history of the player. You know, me and Caboose, we've grown to know him as a competitor competing in our series. And mm -hmm. he's 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 awesome. Just watching him evolve and just seeing what he's become. Evolve. <laughs> it's fucking so great. That's what kind of, you know, changes things around here. He gets that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that projectile um he just goes through projectiles with that cat you know and it kind of changes up matchups like so, someone against sub-zero as well i feel if he makes that read on ice ball he could just kitty cat straight through you know get that yeah. little punish and if he doesn't get the punish that shit is fucking safe for god knows why i i remember running uh viewer matches and somebody was playing with that like specific variation and i was sitting there like like what like all my shit like i feel like these projectiles are supposed to be hitting the cat and he's no. just going straight yeah, through that's how know? i feel as well and it's stupid too because like the projectiles don't hit it it's like it has that unique property to just eat up projectiles but like you could yeah. do the most random normal and it'll clip the cat out of the animation yep. and you're just like whoa yep. like you can fucking fart and the cat gets knocked out of the animation no okay. oh no that doesn't happen <laughs> Wait, who's I mean, fighting? Maybe. Shit, I forgot to change the names. Yo, you know what? I'm gonna fire Spanky Doodle. 
We gotta get him out of here, to be honest. Who is it? Emperor Aztec okay. versus Adam the Great? Adam the Great. <laughs> Alright, back three into the amplified slide. I didn't see what, oh my goodness, what Adam the Great was using, but he gets caught there with the armor breaker. A nice 40% from Aztec. But I'd imagine he's probably using slide, amplified telly, and sickle snag, because that's kind of what everyone's been using. Yeah. Oh, look Five at box. that. Neutral duck into the punish. This man is giving him the works early on. Wow, didn't even have the, the meter to amplify it. And unfortunately, Adam the Great didn't realize that and didn't catch a punish. He just let him get it away with murder. Oh, man. Nice back one into the amplified slide again. Oh! oh, nice teleport punish. I like that. Gets caught by the throw, though. Knocking him back a little bit. Just keeping the pressure on lockdown. Gonna throw himself oh. in the corner. This is huge for Adam the Great. He's got to capitalize on moments like that. Here we go, getting a juicy punish. He has Emperor Aztec. Oh, what's it gonna be? The respect. Which is the buttons. Oh my god, that was unblockable, bro. Down yep. four into the unblockable is so stupid. Yep. That's an unblockable that's literally unblockable, unescapable. If down four hits, he gets the guaranteed, bro. Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. That slide did oh not work out. God. Oh, wait. This is gonna be the round. Wow. Okay, I like the combo. Really didn't have to go all that fancy with it though. <laughs> he literally only needed to do one, one, three in the fatal blow. But hey, big up, big up to Adam the Gray. Got that big combo out there, a whole fifty percent for that fatal blow combo. And he's tying up the round. Gets caught though from the pounce. Oh, very good Back. stuff. And look at that, man. You can just see how much of a veteran Aztec is just backing away from the battle when he needs to. Ooh. Clipping him with a huge crushing blow down to. The overhead. Three in the slide again. Adam the Grey got to get out of this corner. This is scary. This is going to be a lot of damage. Oh, shit. For Aztec. Oh, shit, balls. No fatal blow to survive. This one could punish there after blocking the short hop. He's just trying to, you know, give him a little menacing look here. He's going to catch him with an EXP to oh, buy extra pineapples. And, and there you go. Run. Wait, you said extra pineapples? We can pineapple pizzas after this? Not me. I'm just saying. Koto Khan tossing them shits all over the place. Let's grab some. Is no, he going to not Giovanni? No, not me. You want to go to Giovanni's? I'll get some no, from Giovanni's. No, 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 not me. Up. Not me. Let me come. Hey, Giovanni. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, no, no. Yeah. I know, I know. Destroyer I said I he wants... Want... No, he wants 15 oh uh, extra God. large uh, deluxe uh, pepperoni pineapple pizzas. Yeah. Make it 20. No, no, no. He wants He wants the pizza where it's just a whole... It's a whole pineapple with cheese and, like, the tomato sauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll see you later. All right. I ordered some for you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they just charged my card. What the? You use my fucking what? Grubhub, bro? What do you mean? I thought that's what you wanted. Yo, I can't believe this kid. Bro, I, I don't he know just, why you're he just bought me a fucking fifty dollar pineapple with favorite. pepperonis on top of it. I just, I just did. <laughs> they didn't even, they didn't even send me the pizza. It's just a fucking pineapple with a bunch of pepperonis on it, bro. Exactly. With the show. Yeah. No, exactly. We're supposed to eat it. Wow. Oh my god. Why is he just walking like that? I don't know. I think they gave Kodo a new walk animation since he got so many fucking buffs. He's the best character in the game. He just he walks like he doesn't give a shit anymore. He's like, I walk wherever I want. Oh, what's that? That was a bad impression? Kodo, what? What do you mean? You don't impress oh my god. Fuck you. Nice flawless block there from Adam McRae. Gonna be a breakaway though in the overcommitment on the string. Gonna get him punished on wake up. Oh, nice punish there off the throw. Not sure where he went for the back. Two could have got a little more out of it. Then I get sliced up and Aztec will take that first round. Very good stuff. And look at this animation. Freaking Adam the Gray just trying to stay alive here. Oh, he's trying to catch some parries right now. 
The kitty cat running all over the place. Animorphs on the screen here. Nice. one one three into the Amplified Telly. Oh, going for some optimal. That's a punish. Oh, oh definitely. It, it, it was. I mean, with a character like Noob Saibot that has such a crazy advancing high and super fast, he, he can get a lot of punishes yeah. that people are not usually ready for. J-Buddy with the bitch. Thank you so much, dude. Support is ridiculous for me, dude. Tries to hit him there. Locked. He's gonna go with the cat stuff again. Be oh, the overhead! Careful here. Gotta be extra oh careful God. here. You're damn right about that. Adam oh, the Great has a chance to make some life. Nice to bring some life into this set. No! Oh! His projectile didn't hit in time for it to be a trade. He went for the fatal blow. Oh, God. Oh, God. And that's going to be it. Aztec with the comeback. Unbelievable. Adam the Gray just couldn't close that out. Are you kidding me? Hey, Goonie. I see you in the chat. Are you actually competing today? I want to know right now, Goonie. Are you actually competing today? You son of a bitch, you got DQ'd. You son of a you bitch. You son of a bitch. Erwin! Who are you? Get out of here. Kotokan, go kill him. I'll kick Kotokan's ass again if you want me to. You don't impress me. You Do don't me impress me. <laughs> But okay, here we go. Aztec up 2-0 in this set. One more game to go. Provided he does win. Let's see what Adam the Gray is going to do. It's all good, brother. I want to see some hype Raiden, bro. Bring that fucking Raiden next week. Bring that Raiden next week! And in fact... And I want to see Christopher Lambert too. I want to see him going. I don't think so. I wanna, I wanna vote in the chat right now. Press one in the chat if you think Lambert Raiden sounds like Yoda. Press two in the chat if you think he doesn't. Hey. What people say? I fucking knew it. I knew it all along. I knew it all along. He sounds like Yoda. I knew it all along. He sounds like Yoda. Nice. Oh, no follow up there. Not entirely sure what uh, Adam the Grey was doing. Very good stuff here. He tried to open him up with the low, but it's just not going to work out for him. Ducking under the force right. ball. I need you to make sure you don't get Goonie in the tournament after what he just said in the chat. What did he say? Oh, sh he violated. <laughs> yeah. He I'm gonna, violated. I'm going to need to make sure he gets banned. He violated my boy. Matter of fact, yo, uninstall his cyberpunk too. Don't let him play cyberpunk. <laughs> uninstall his cyberpunk. Don't let him play it. Oh my god. He goes with the down four. Oh no, oh, not again. Hot, this, big this is gonna be the second rob Ember Aztec makes right now. Is it though? Hold on. Is it though? I think he's dead. No. Dude, that's fucking. No, he's dead. no, no. He's alive. No, he's not. I told you. He, he thought he was dead. <laughs> he thought he died, bro. <laughs> he put the controller down, man. Come on. I think he actually did give up there. He thought he died. Mm -hmm. That's because you said it. He manifested. <laughs> he's, he's watching the stream. He said, ah, the short's right. <laughs> so, ah, man, he's right. I lost. And he said, wait. <laughs> I lost that because of Destroyer. He lied. <laughs> All right. Adam the Great can definitely there. make this comeback because absolutely he's been going back and forth with Emperor Aztec. It's just Aztec has been making monumental reads at like the last minute to just close out the match for him. Yeah, I don't think it's been this, uh, this crazy one-sided set. I mean, it looks one-sided, but it hasn't been one-sided. Press the buttons there. Fatal Blow. Just do it. Just fuck it. Just do it. Just Fatal Blow, man. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Down three. Back three into the amplified slide. Just looking for anything. One little opening will do it, especially because there's no defensive meter for Aztec to work with. Oh no! The armor! Oh no! This is unblockable! 
Oh, what did he do? So let me get this right. Cut. That unblockable was sped up, huh? That's why it's able to connect into uh, some shit and make it? it. I mean, why is he able to do down four guaranteed off of that now? Why is he able to like, he, he's able to get certain guaranteed strings into that. Was is that guaranteed? I think so though. That hit advantage looked like he couldn't escape from that. You don't think so? I don't know. I don't chat, know. I wonder. chat, was that guaranteed? Can we get a Mortal Kombat Mythbusters? <laughs> yeah, can we get a fact check in the chat? Cause we obviously don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Oh, we play Mortal Kombat. I thought this was beautiful Katamari. It is guaranteed. Oh, really? Wow, you didn't know That's that? I knew that. I didn't know. I felt like, you know, an unblockable should never be something you can technically combo into, you know? <laughs> Well, that's what I was saying. Like, I don't know if Cordalcom was buffed to where the unblockable was sped up because I don't remember him able to get that shit guaranteed. I really don't. But maybe he always had it. He's such a busted character, man. Is there a dev watching this? Can we nerf <laughs> this? Fun no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't want to. I don't, don't want to be that guy. All right. Who's continuing, next? Continuing to, to showcase that Cordalcom, continue to play so well with that Kotokan. I did like Adam the Grey's Noob Saibot, though. I want to see more of that. I want to see more of it, too. All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Just a quick one. And when we get back, Caboose, we got a crazy fucking match. We got Sweat MD going up against Coach Steve. Oh, you guys are in for it. All right. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Champions of the Realms 2. We are here with week one and the pool play. A lot of action has already gone down. A lot more action to come, including this next match that's coming up, which is going to be insane. We got Coach Steve going up against Sweat MD. That is going to be incredibly hype. We hope you guys have been enjoying the broadcast so far. But hey, we wanted to give a shout out to CGL, Console Gaming League. They are the sponsor for this tournament. They provided another $1,000 for the prize pool of this tournament, just like they did with the first Champions of the Realms. And also as they did with the first Champions of the Realms. Each week, there's $150 to claim in a prize pool for the top three That's of right. the tournament. But here we go. I believe we got our two players loaded up. Destroyer, are you hyped for this or what? I'm super excited, man. I, like I said, you know, in the beginning, we were going to get into the nitty gritty at this point. We had that last set that was a complete banger. Uh, I forgot the two opponents who fought, but it was absolutely yes. ridiculous. And now we're going to have another crazy match. We have Coach Steve pulling out the jacks. And I remember yep. this was a character he was working on very early on on Mortal Kombat 11's release. So to see him yeah. going back to Jax, that just goes to tell that he's got some dirty shit with this custom variation right now. <laughs> well, you know, as I said, like having the custom variations, you know, having these players like be potentially loyal to a character, but maybe want to leave that character alone for a little bit because it's just there isn't enough for that character, you know? Yeah. But now that there is custom variations, you come back to a character that you were really vibing with when you were playing the game in the first place, and you realize all the potential that's there with custom variations. So it's really cool to see something like a scenario like this with Coach Steve as he's going to start things off. Get that little command grab off the amplification. Yeah, this is going to be so good to see, man. Coach Steve is one of those players I always love to watch play because he's so damn smart. And it's like he plays... Almost like, you, you could say, like, a very Samij-esque player. You know, like, very robotic. He's constantly taking throws, playing very textbook. Coach Steve right now, starting the pressure early on. He's going to go for the stagger straight into the command throw. Look at this pressure. Wow, Sweat MD ducking under the dash punch grab. Smart stuff oh. there. Yo, this nice pressure. grab there. Coach Steve has this corner controlled. Good stuff there. Heating up the arms. The bop to the head. Oh my god. Did you just see this uh, Coach Steve's variation name? Oh my god. <laughs> Escape fail off the throw. It looks like Sweat MD is cabalin. Cabalin. <laughs> nice. Oh, he got it, oh I think. Oh my god. Does that close the round? I think so. Papa oh, Briggs wait. is about to. <laughs> Oh god. He's about to have to tighten up that BBC. No, it's oh, not. No. It's not. <laughs> oh no, hold on. Not gonna close Wait things out. Air projectile. 17 seconds left. Oh, oh the, the down, down four will do it. Takes it. The down four Great takes patience. it. Great patience there from Sweat ND. He knew that that fatal blow 
was on deck. He had to be real careful. Got the spins. Too Wallet. slow. Wallet. Wallet. Too Got the spins. Slow. Big crushing blow air there with the projectile from Coach Steve. Oh, but the cross up will do it. Sweat and D now. Getting the armor breaker. 37% damage. Holy shit. Bro, this guy Sweat MD, this Cabal is looking a little too fast. Oh, the wake up three. Hold on, he goes with the cancel directly into the jump over. Coach Steve actually made the read on that. He tried to push buttons on that cancel, but that that escape from Sweat MD was so clean. And a whip punish, not gonna commit. Oh my god, he's gonna get a counter hit here. What is going on? Is that gonna close the round? Yes, it is. Coach Steve gonna whip out the OG Kush and take a fat hit real quick. Yo, let's be honest. If he can heat up his arms, why is he bringing a cigarette with him to light up the cigar? You're like, right. Come on, we need to talk about this. You're right about that. We need to talk, we need to talk about this. Jack, you gotta figure it out, buddy. Listen, he, he likes to keep it old school, right? He likes right, to keep it enough. classic. Here we fair go. Enough, Wait, how is that <laughs> grab not catching him? Is this is Sweat MD just letting go of block at the perfect moment? I think so. I'm not sure though. Oh, Ooh. he amplified the smoke. That's gonna get him the health back. We try to hit the ground with the ground pound. Wait a second. Sweat MD trying to close some distance. This is as close as we can get here in this match right now, Caboose. Oh my God! What oh, that's a punish. Why is he not committing? He He's got. He got the punish. Bro, he caught about about three whip punishes already, and he did not commit. Oh my God! Again. Okay, but Whoa. he gets a crushing blow off the low hook that time. And I'm out. that's a punish. I'm out. Not sure what Sweat MD was oh thinking. My God. I, don't think it, I don't think that's enough, though. I think that's enough. It's not going to be enough. No, 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 I no. They no, 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 no. score. Oh my God. No, well, you shouldn't have. Oh my God. I got to I gotta reverse it. And that's enough. <laughs> there oh, you yeah, go. Okay. The grab will do it. And Coach Steve takes the first game in what was a hell of a back and forth. That really was, but. Sweat MD was playing extremely sweaty there, so I don't see this being a one-sided match, not at all. Especially with how close of a first game they just had there. Sweat MD was well, just a couple reads away from closing that out. Not even that, but I think just a couple of, uh, not, not necessarily reads, but he, he made a couple of reads. In fact, he had a couple of punishes, but he wasn't able to follow up. There were two instances mm -hmm. where he got a hit in and he went for the cancel on the Nomad Dash yes. rather than just committing to the Nomad Dash to get a combo. That stuff that that makes a difference when the when the life is that yeah. close by the end of the game, those Sweat extra little hits are what could have been the difference maker mm -hmm. in you taking the game. I honestly think Sweat MD was overthinking it all, and especially with a character like Cabal, he was playing it very safe. So you got to respect him on that part. You know, for sure, he he wasn't expecting to get those hit confirmed, so that's why he was just he was canceling and just keeping it safe. So let's see if Sweat MD is gonna be able to read the situation a little better here. Immediately starting the match off with a Nomad Dash, catching yep. Coach Steve slipping. Oh my God! There we go. Oh Eddie my God! A little more, recognizing when he's getting the hit in. Oh, well, there's the grab into the Batista bomb. Nice punish off the wake up roll there from the overcommitment from Coach Steve. Wow. Coach Steve is really good too, though, at catching the cancels on the Nomad Dash and ready to press buttons to punish. Very good stuff. Pressure here. Blocking the overhead. Batista bomb. Oh, oh my god. god. Here goes twice oh, in no, a no, row. No. Did you go over the whole thing? Oh no, okay, never mind. I don't see why he wouldn't go for the whole thing there. He might have gotten a button input error, but fuck it. He still got the game. And yo, look, the I love when it's really tight, right? It, it is. It is tight, but I feel like if you lab it a couple times, especially in the online scenario, you can get it pretty consistently because I fought against players that got it every single time. Right. But yo, Coach Steve, man, you know, you give this player a command grab. He's going to utilize it to the full potential and show you how scary a command grab what can be. Punish. My goodness. Oh, Coach Steve Lord. played out of his mind. He knew that low hook was punishable. He was oh. ready for it. What's crazy too about a character like Jax is he, he's got it all. Especially when you give him custom variations. He's got an incredible mid. He's got an incredible Project command out. grab. He's got about a thousand crushing blows. What does yep. this character not have? Tell me, please. Look at this. Look at this. A restand, oh a pop to the Double head. Oh, no, pop to the, to the head. Dome. Nice. Okay, wait a second. 
No. But if the not out of this, gonna have to combo into the Fatal Blow to guarantee this damage. Otherwise, there was gonna be an opportunity for Koshi to break away. It's not gonna kill, but let's see if Sweat MD can try and close out this round. Illusions, do me a huge favor and, and try to reach out to Mary on Smash GG or, or hit her up on the on, on the chat. And she's oh, she'll, he went for the low! She'll advance you, my friend. I he love went you. for the low, and again, Koshi instantly punishes. There is a small, small window to punish that low hook, and you need to be ready to punish it right away if you block it. And that's exactly what Coach Steve did to close that game out and go up 2-0 in this set. Now he's gonna squish a grenade. <laughs> this is what we gotta bring into the new Warzone update. We're gonna bring Jax with his fucking metal wands. Yo! Imagine? He's gonna get rid of all the bullets. That would be sick. It would be a GG's. If they put, if they put Jax in Warzone, that would be sick. The mo they got to call it the Warzone MK pack. Get Jax, Sonya, all the special forces. It, yeah, all the special forces people. Fuck Yo, it, throw in Gerson as well. Come on. Hold on a second. Jax. Hold Show on a second. Never I mean, you know, uh, I'm not too expensive. You can pay me for these ideas. Another Realm or Activision who got to hit you up? I don't know, but they both just sent me a message. They said, fuck off. Wow. Oh my God. Jesus. Wow. I can't believe it. Oh, they sent me a message. They said, yo, that's a brilliant idea. Thanks for letting us know, Caboose. We'll be contacting you shortly for you to be compensated. Fight. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, yo, I don't know. Bullshit. I don't know what happened. Coach Steve on the verge to sending, <laughs> oh my god, Bookworm with a ridiculous Yo! 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much, Bookworm, in the chat. Yo, Bookworm and J-Buddy, man, they have been blessing it up. The they young have, god. No, yeah, they, they, they've they been out of control these past couple weeks, and I just got none but my utmost thanks to y'all. Thank you so much. But yo, Coach Steve right now, man, looking to close this out here. Gonna gotcha grab him out of the fucking air, keeping him in the corner here. Those arms oh, are heated up to oh, the max. They are heated. You send this to the cyberpunk right now, and somebody's gonna get a fucking a burn. Somebody's gonna get burned. The city's gonna get burned. Nicely done there. Amplifies. Using those projectiles while he has those arms heated up. Gotta watch out for that fatal blow, though. This is uh, this is intense. Oh, okay. Amplifies the smoke, so he's gonna be standing in to get the health back. Oh, he gets hit. All those hits that got through there are actually what could have ended the round, and the projectile catches the toe of Cabal. Looks like he wasn't Cabal in that time. I mean, just look how patient Coach Steve's playing. This guy's not worried about anything right now. He's just taking it slow. He knows he's got a great projectile. Once he gets the arms heated, he can contest with, with Cabal in that zoning yeah. department. Oh my wow. god, twice in a row gonna go for the full screen grab. <laughs> it's crazy, like like you said, like Jack really just having all the tools here. He was even playing a zoning game in that last round. Like yeah. playing full screen with projectiles. And look at that. Big crushing blow. 38%. Oh he's this dead. Is Matt Into the race for oh he, he dropped it. Oh no! He dropped the combo. And catches the down one, converts off of it there too. That's gonna be the game. Oh Going my to coach god! Oh, oh my god! Oh he my. is not done. This man exploding sweat in these head. Unbelievable. What, that what? He had the he had the heated arms. He was he was burning the motherfucker's face. Even he was the one who was the reason why Cabal gets all burnt up. That in is the future. That's just too much for me That's to handle. Now. That's, That's just too much for me to handle. Unbelievable. Cole Steve going to take it 3-0 against SweatMD just like that. Valiant effort, though, from SweatMD. And also, I was seeing in the chat, yeah. um, some people were saying that this is an NLBC battle. So maybe these players play each other a lot. Maybe that was a, a, a case where, you know, SweatMD just wasn't ready to go in that extra layer of mind games against an opponent he goes up against frequently. Because I gotta say, when you go up against those type of opponents, the training partners, the locals, those are the worst ones. Those are the worst ones because yeah, not right. only are you guys like fighting for the competition, but there's always like some type of little rivalry going on between that. You know, you guys either ran, each ran into each other during a, a local tournament match, you ran in each other during some other time. So those matches are always 
Pretty crazy. If you want to know where you can sign up, hit exclamation point, sign up in the chat. Do not wait. Do not hold out. Nope. We always get it every Sick. single week. We always get that one person who's like, Sick. oh, shit, I forgot to sign up. Yep. Can I get in there? So, like, just, just do it now. If you want to, if you're trying to compete, you want to play, it's now or never. Especially when we, like, once the tournament series starts up, you guys get uh, just about a week, a week's time to sign up for week two. You know, I didn't want to give you guys, like, a really long span to sign up because then you forget that you signed up for the tournament. I give you a week. That way you sign up for the tournament. You, it's hard to forget. It's hard to forget. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I hope those of you who do sign up actually come through and participate. And I hope to see you there for week two. But let's get it popping. We got this match going down. Big Daddy G going up against Kenzo Chris. It's going down. Big Daddy G rocking the movie Sonya skin too. You love to see it. Oh, nice flawless block there with the up to wake up. This should be an interesting Check. match. Yeah, you're right. He does have the classic Sonya. Wh which one do you like better? You like classic Sonya or you like Ronda Sonya? <laughs> Bro, Sonya actually has a voice actor now. Or a voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Bro, I'm what sorry, if, bro. What if Ronda like was watching this? You want to hey, fucking Ronda, get like, killed? Hey, listen, listen. There's no disrespect. <laughs> you know, I got to see her I mean, at the MK reveal. I got to see her. I didn't get to meet her. Did you get to meet her? I got to see her. <laughs> uh, well, I saw her too. Yeah, I was. I was there. You know, we probably ran past each other at that reveal event. That's crazy, man. Didn't even. Didn't even know who we were. That's, that's sad. Time. That's actually Isn't that sad. crazy. That's pretty crazy, man. <laughs> so I feel like if, if we did have a friendship at that moment, man, we would have gotten high as fuck. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding guys. I'm kidding, guys. As we're saying all this, though, Big Daddy, you play really well. Though escape fell off that throw, it opens up an opportunity for Kenzo. Going to go for the back three, go for the one-one, but a jump stops that combo from connecting. <laughs> nice blocks on the low. Yo, this guy's really putting that pressure. Kenzo, Chris. Oh, what? Shutting down the second that hit of that dangerous. projectile. It really was, because if that would have came out, that would have been crushing blow into the stars. That factory again. And a good throw. That's crushed. Oh, Gonna no. spend it. Needs one little hit to close this out. Look how safe he's playing right now. He doesn't want to overextend anything. Going to throw the interactable. Very smart. Very smart. Yo, Big Daddy G makes this. Oh, oh my oh. God! What the fuck was? What is oh, that? Oh, he went for it again! What is that? What is that? I ain't never seen some shit like that from Sonya. Is that exclusive to the movie skin? Oh my God! Yo, where did he pull Just that? out of nowhere, Big Daddy G pulls out a move that we've never seen. Or that we haven't seen through that whole match, at least. Where did that and come gets from? And to land twice to close out that game. I'm sure Kenzo is not happy about that one. Bro, One but little jump back or one quick reaction with a teleport or something would have done it. All I can say is I've been playing MK11 for quite some time now. And I ain't ever in my life seen that fucking move. So I just can imagine how many people in the chat are just watching this jaw drop. Like, what? What's that? What move is that? Custom variations, everybody. I think, I think Custom so, somebody variations. Pointed out it's minus 40 on block. <laughs> <laughs> and Big Daddy G threw it out twice on the magic pixel. He said he, does, he, said he doesn't off. know about this. That's called the air that sword is, in general. That was quite literally the equivalent to when all the planets align in the solar system. You might never see a situation like that happen <laughs> ever again for a player where the opponent presses buttons at the exact time that you throw out that move to win the game in a crazy comeback. No, yeah, Kenzo Chris okay. is definitely beating himself over the head for that one. He's like, dude, I will never get hit with that shit again. Holy smokes. Big Daddy G honestly nice. should have just named his variation Soaring General. So that way when people saw it, they would have been like, oh, no. Now I understand. She's soaring through the skies. Oh, man. But Kenzo Chris, he is getting down to business right now. He's got Big Daddy G locked down in the corner. Going to hit him with a cancel. Oh, could have caught a conversion, but no pickup. Wow, the heel strike. 
Oh my god. Gotta watch out for that fatal blow if you're Kenzo. You gotta be really careful here. Nice back three. You see interactable chip avoidance. One more defensive meter to avoid some chip on Big Daddy's Ooh. side, but the back two will do it. Very good stuff there. Round two. Fight. Playing it very patient right now. He's gonna go in with the down four into that fire breath. Oh! Catching him out of the air again. The staggers from Kenzo Chris are looking immaculate right now, Caboose. Nice throw. Oh, you didn't update the score, by the way. Oh, what is it? Nice flawless block up to 4 3 4. Because you have 1 0. My bad, my bad. Sorry, my bad. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, was that? Big Daddy G's down 2 0? All right, I'll fix it right now. <laughs> Oh, Another good, good throw there from Kenzo has this corner. Yo, the Mid pressure, blade. man. He's using these pokes to the full potential right now. Stopping Big Daddy G in that corner. Oh, we oh couldn't even close out the game there? Okay, either way, he's able to with all the pressure that follows. Kenzo going to tie up this game. I think he could have, though, off of that combo that he was landing. But either way, he still takes it. And we got ourselves a set. Very good stuff, man. This is the type of shit you like to see. You know, the, the beginning of Champions of Realm Season 2 Week 1 started off a little <laughs> cocky pale. But now that we're getting a little deeper into this pool, you see these matches are amping up, bro. Already so going... cocky butt? Me? Cocky butt? Always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be you booting up Cyberpunk. <laughs> Yo! Cyberpunk is here! <laughs> I can't wait, dude. I really Wake can't. Fuck I can't right. fucking wait, bro. I want to know in the chat right now if you're playing Cyberpunk or if you're going to be playing Cyberpunk, which path are you going to go? Are you going to go Corpo? Are you going to go Nomad? Or are you going to go Street Kid? I want to know right now in the chat. Oh, is it MK Tournament? Yo, I'm Corpo. I'm talking all about day. Cyberpunk right Corporal now. Get Johnny Silverhand and MK11. Yo, nah, just John Wick. I, I saw somebody was saying get Neo, and I immediately thought about you saying John Wick. I was like, no, what the fuck? Why would you get Neo if you just put John Wick? Why would exactly. you put Johnny Silverhand if you just put John Wick? Holy smokes, Big Daddy G with a 43% combo in the near flawless round there. My goodness. He did switch variations, I just noticed. That's flawless block off that forward 3 4. Landing that very consistently. Nice. Damn, this chat, mate. I just, I just, yo, we're gonna have to just go into a full blown cyberpunk conversation, turn this into a podcast. Let's do it. I'm kidding. Okay, Big Daddy G <laughs> right now. He's on, he's on the defense here. Kenzo Chris fighting his way out of the corner. Oh no, he's gonna get tagged with the low. The flawless block. The back and forth pressure from both these players. Nice. Escape fell off the grab there. Oh, oh whoa. gets caught. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a jump kick. Hit confirm into a 20% free. Easy. Wake up. One, two. Gotta be really careful if you're Big Daddy G, especially because these crushing blow throws. Wow. And that's gonna be the game. Big Daddy G goes up 2-1 in this set. Very good stuff from Big Daddy G, man. He's really putting a statement right now. He's got the OG Sonya Blade. She said, that's Sonya, bro. That's Sonya Blade. Yeah, she looks nice there. Like, come on. She said, don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> she got Kano in, in her face like, yeah, I'll kill that guy from ear to ear. <laughs> Dude, it sucks they couldn't get the actor for Kano as a movie skin. R.I.P. to that dude. I know. All I got to say is, uh, you know, he was he was an incredible Kano. He was basically the one that kind of created the legacy for the character, created the, the action, if, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. Down. Yes. So it's not actually an Australian accent, from what I understand. But uh, regardless, that, like, the way he portrayed that character in the movie is the reason why Kano is the way that he is today in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. D definitely an honor i think that's awesome it is awesome and you know th that goes for a bunch of mortal kombat characters you see a lot of their legacies getting carried on like from mk2 mk3 and it's just very heartwarming to see that type of stuff you know continuing for the fans yeah. for the true fans of the mortal kombat world 
All I'm saying is, when this new Mortal Kombat movie comes out, which we were supposed to get news from today, but apparently it didn't end up happening. Um, they gotta, they gotta have some way to honor the original, and you know, like yeah, whether it's through the music or something. Oh, we'll see. You we'll know? see what happens. I, I actually, I feel like they got to. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too far fetched if we see like some classic cameo actors. You know, I don't see why not. I think it'll yeah. be, it'll be pretty awesome if we see that that uh, Lambert Rain and come through. Go. <laughs> And then he just did leaves for the rest of the movie. <laughs> Yo, Kenzo Chris here trying to stay alive in this set against Big. What the fuck? In nice. the middle of his pressure, this man just escaped. How does Big Daddy G do that type of shit? Big Daddy G just got the tech and he connects the low and that's going to be the round. This will send Big Daddy G to match point with this fatal blow. Very good stuff here from Big Daddy G. Going to drop a 40 deuce right on top of Scorpion's face. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Flipping him, flip him over to the corner. He goes again for another heel strike. Nice throw. I'm a little nervous here. The 1-1's one -one all over the place right now. He goes for the immediate cancel. Wait a second. This pressure is looking a little too much. Kenzo Chris showing signs of life here. What's it gonna be? Actually gonna, the overhead. Gonna tie up these rounds. Just to survive, try to send this to a game five. One, one, two connects. Four, overhead. four, and the one, one, two, the short hop. And that should be enough chip, guaranteed. Great stuff there from Kenzo with the corner pressure. Yeah, that was really good. Oh, oh no, it's frozen in time. Frozen in time. Oh, what a nice little conversion. Oh, not able to get everything out of it, though. And now Kenzo going to go for the crushing blow. 2-1-2 two, two combo. Damage over time. Back two into the spear. It breaks oh, armor. armor breaker. It breaks armor. What the hell? Nice throw. This is huge. I mean, Kenzo's going to have an option to use his fatal blow. He's got to make it count, though. Oh, oh my no. God, he's still alive. He gets the Nice. Throw. Holy shit, one more read. Still has a chance. Still has a chance. No oh, way. Oh, wow. No way. Oh, my God. No way. No way. Back three. No way. No way. No way. Project no! Oh, he gets the spear. He gets... What is he doing? Back three. Oh, my God. He could have finished the game. Teleport. He could have finished the game. Teleport. Chip him out. Teleport. Oh, my God. The interactable was not enough. No, he can't teleport. He can crush under. Oh, the reaction. Oh, my The reaction. God. The fucking reaction from Kenzo Chris to stay alive in this ridiculous set right now. Caboose, I'm going to the hospital. He dropped it. He almost threw. He almost threw off of the game being handed to him there. After he landed the amplified spear, he went for the standing four and didn't fatal blow. Destroyer. I had, a, I had to take a sip of some water there, bro. Holy smokes. That was actually stupid right there, man. You know, I was waiting for one of those heart-wrenching moments to happen during the stream, and we got it early on. We got it early on. It's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. happening. Kobo's Coliseum. Stand down. Fucking oh, Kenzo man. Chris staying alive against Big Daddy G right now. Big Daddy G. He's got to be nervous here. At this point, I, I don't care how many matches you play tournament, dude. You got a player that's just coming back, just making comebacks like that. It's, it gets fucking sweaty at this point. Yep. Round one. Fight. Nicely done. Good offensive play there from Big Daddy G. Pushing Kenzo towards the corner. Look at them trading on these low kicks and low punches. Oh my Four, god. Three, four gets flawless block. Kenzo, or sorry, uh, Big Daddy G has been very consistent with that. I mean, that's the type of stuff you got to learn against these characters. That way you can have like a little edge uh, against them. You know, if you start flawless blocking their gaps, they're going to be like, oh shit, I got to change it up. Wow, going to neutral duck my under. Job. Yeah, he could do Wowzer. this. <laughs> this is getting close. Beautiful. He whips the back one. Oh, wow, he, the punish, he really went for that. And you know, you I, know what? I kind of like the idea. 100%. I feel like Big Daddy G kind of just did a YOLO uh, fatal blow because he thinks he thought the pushback was going to go unpunished, you know? 
Do you think that's what it was, though, or do you think that he maybe, was recognizing maybe. a little bit of the uh, the offensiveness of uh, of Kenzo? How how much he always likes to push in, go for the throw, this, that, and the other, and was just expecting Kenzo to try and go for a hit that'll just get uh, swallowed up by the armor. You might have it spot on. He's going in right now, gonna catch him with the double projectile right into the cancel. Into the down poke. Oh my god, oh. pushing a button at the worst possible moment. A YOLO teleport from Kenzo. Dude, this match is getting so crazy right now. These players are losing their mind here. Oh my god, what are these staggers? Wow, wow. Dude, this is looking like ready for Big Daddy G. This is looking like a done deal right now. No, 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 no. Wow, Stagger wow. City overhead with the mid plate. Nice flawless block there off the cross up. Good throw. Now we're in the territory where the Fatal Blow will take the round. Can Big Daddy G do this? Can Big Daddy G Ooh, do this? Traded. Oh, they trade. Holy shit. What the and fuck? that's a punish. What was and that? that's a punish. I have no clue what Kenzo was thinking there, but that's going to send us to a final round in this final game between Bro. Kenzo and Big Daddy G. All I got to say is Kenzo was playing so flawless, and then out of nowhere, he just said, fuck it, kill me. Fight. Unbelievable. That was the most YOLO play we've seen yet. Let's see what's going to happen here. This match doesn't get crazier than this right now. Big Daddy G has Kenzo locked down in the corner. He could have ended this already, man. This is so scary. Man. The wake up read into man. a jump three punish. It's what not is looking good. Wow. Yo. What is this Fuck set? it, bro. What is this set Just right throw it now? Out. Just throw, throw it. it out. Yo, if he gets one more opening. Oh my God, he could have caught that if he committed to the forward, forward three, four. Technical oh, jump. Yeah! Oh, he interrupts. No. He's got balls of no! steel, destroyer, oh God, crushing, crushing blow. blow. Big Daddy G slowing it down. He's slowing it down right now. He knows he's got the life lead. This is the exact Whoa. position that he wants to be in. Any toss of a projectile, Kenzo reacts oh. with the teleport. It's over. Oh Big Daddy God. G has to get in. Oh, oh man, God. that was dangerous. Oh, my God. He got hit with oh, the And it's over. Kenzo takes it. In a photo finish. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to do. This is this is week one. It shouldn't. <laughs> This is, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be messing with my heart on week one. It's week one. Okay. It's week one, man. Give, what is this? Give us a break. Give us a fucking break. Uh, I think we have some. Holy shit. Yeah, we have some crazy shit lined up for y'all. Um, uh, just, just one second. I want to confirm for you. Uh, 9JA on Smash GG. That is Kenzo, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I right. just want to make sure I like there wasn't a mistake here. All right, I'm gonna start uh, inviting these players so we can speed it up. How long has this been so far? We we're we've been going about two hours. Okay, not bad. All right, let's get these invites out. Next match is DJT versus Slick Shots, and then Mighty Ooh. Unjust versus Emperor Aztec. I'm excited to see DJT. Uh, I haven't seen him play in a minute, and you know I'm just I'm curious to see what he's using now with custom variation and that applies for all mm -hmm. of you all you players that i haven't been watching and haven't been keeping an eye on i'm excited to see what all of you have to bring to this tournament because that's what the most exciting thing about mk right now is just the simple fact that we got custom variations on the table here you know you can bring whatever the hell you want mm -hmm. uh characters that were considered low tier are now stupid as shit and i just feel like this game is is, is really it's in a really good spot like it it's kind of i don't know how to explain it man it's like the brokenness of of shit just makes games funner man it's just like just having that creativity just having that that wow factor you know like oh my god did he really yeah. just do that oh my god this character can really put these moves together that's just even though it's a fucking broken mess man that's the recipe for a good last it's fucking christmas for netherrealm right now for the scene you guys got to be thankful
and you know we also also the pro competitions up and running uh we, we we're gonna get a lot of money getting thrown at y'all from the pro competition from nether realm and you gotta look yep. at the at, at the at the fucking champions of the realms the coliseum slayers 2v2 all of it as like practice to get into that grand prize and who do we have it here destroyer do i see melina on my screen right now you object to shao Kahn. Who's who? DJT with the Molina, maybe? Eventually. Oh no, actually, I think that's Slick Shots. No, yeah, that is Slick Shots rocking Molina. Oh shit. Because I remember Slick Shots typing in chat, Molina coming Ina. Yo, he said DJT spawn clean. <laughs> he's, just, he's just telling you how it is. You don't even have to watch DJT spawn to know this shit's about to be wild. Well, Yo, on, you know though. what I love about Melina's uh, intro dialogue? Tell me. The lore is that she's out here pretending to be Katana and just messing with people. <laughs> is that really it? That's what, yeah, that's the lore right now is that she's straight up pretending to be Katana and like specifically like she was messing with, um, with Liu Kang. And what'd she say to him? She said like, oh yeah, you thought I was Katana, huh? A oh, bitch. And he said, yes, I was ready to smash. That's just not. And then she took the she took the mask out. She said, "Sight, that's the wrong number." <laughs> and he said, "Holy shit!" Why you sound like that to you? Is that not how Liu Kang talks? I don't know. Oh, I might be getting it mixed up. My my fault. My fault. Oh, Liu oh, Kang heavy. Liu Kang be like. Slick shot. <laughs> What is uh what does DJ Khaled in the background of the stage say? We the best! <laughs> DJ Khaled! We Nicely done there. Very reserved game from Slick Shots right now, just using those projectiles. Oh nice block off of the war the roll. Stand. Oh, nice punish again with the standing 3 4. DJT starting to gain a little bit of momentum, but wait a second. A throw is going to connect for Slick Shot. Shit. I just realized, bro, Slick Shots taking game number one on DJT is big news here. You know, Slick Shots has round been grind round number one. Slick Shots has been yeah. grinding for quite some time, man. And just to see this dude going up against a tournament veteran here, this is hard work. Yeah. This brings tears yeah. to my eyes. You crying? A little bit. Oh my god, the dash up standing three. He's putting the pressure on lockdown here. But look at that, Slick Shots answering back. Okay, the dash up stagger galore. Oh, that's a punish. Oh, that's a punish. Hey, punish Giving her a free abortion. That was brutal. Exploding the stomach into a thousand pieces. Oh, oh nice. Dude, that was some of the most the cleanest punish. use of Balro I've seen yet. Wow. Going straight onto the projectile to catch the punish. Oh, he's a maniac. Yeah, Slick Shots really went for it there, and DJT was ready and will close the game out off that punish. It's game number one going to DJT. Yo, J Buddy would have. No fucking way. <laughs> J Buddy would have. Yeah, and then I think, think Salted Peanut earlier, too. Salted Peanut earlier. Oh my too god. Five Yo, Salted Peanut, I'm sorry I missed your five gifted. Thank through you so space. much, bro. No, seriously. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah, he said you're a piece of shit for not calling it out. What? He said he hates you You know for what? not calling it out. Kotokan, how, really how do you feel about that? You no, don't she, impress she, me. She. Uh, hold on. Look Abyss. Closer. Abyss, who are you waiting for? Abyss, contact, contact an admin. Contact an admin, Abyss. And they will help you. Somebody help, somebody help Abyss. Somebody DQ him from the tournament, please. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Help him out, help him out. Oh, it's a stream match. He's got a stream match. Oh, Abyss, you have no opponent. My bad, man. Uh, we could skip... We could have creative royalty and pains fight off stream. Let me see if... Wait. Wait. Here, let me let me get this off stream, and then what we'll do is we'll just DQ everybody in this area right here. We'll DQ Abyss. We'll DQ re re Creative. No, I'm kidding. Just top to bottom, huh? All right. 
Uh, creative royalty and pains. If you guys can fight off stream, I apologize for having you guys wait in that queue for 13 minutes. We'll fight off stream, and then we'll probably stream Abyss versus the winner of that. Let me just go over the pools real quick while this match happens. I'll, I'll As you're going over those pools, DJT playing extremely well, landing a healthy 36% plus combo. Getting another round over Slick Shots. Who's rocking this Molina? Trying to get in there. Getting caught by those projectiles. Nice. Back one into a projectile again there from DJT. Really controlling the space. And that's standing 3 4. It is seriously such a good pool for spawn. A good throw though. Hold on a second. Escape fill there. That doesn't set up the crushing blow as Molina's crushing blow requirement is a little different. Okay, the forward port connects into the ball roll. It's gonna spend the crushing blow. 38% on the damage there. And has a fatal blow ready. It looks like DJ T was maybe looking to go neutral duck to try and avoid the grab at the end of that string. Holy Get shit. caught by this fatal blow. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. No, it will not. Oh my goodness. Down ones, down ones, he and got him. down three. He got him with the down poke. Closing it out. Slick shot stays alive. This is exactly what he Melina. needs here. Melina, come Melina. Oh, I'm gonna have to get you out of the tournament if you're gonna say that shit. Oh, is that a crush? Wait, what? what Yo, what but you do? know, Slick Shot staying alive. He took a round off of DJT last game. He took a round this game. Like, he's staying head to head with this veteran player with Melina, so he Absolutely. shouldn't, yeah, he shouldn't feel intimidated by DJT. He should just play his game. Stop with that YOLO shit, though. Maybe, oh maybe my not God, do that. that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's wild out for that right now. This guy just wants to ball roll straight into Cyberpunk 2077 already. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. I'm awake. I'm awake. You need to wake up, Samurai. Am I not samurai. awake? Wake the fuck up. Uh, Jesus, Samurai. Yo, Keanu, I'm already at the end of the game, and you still telling me to wake, wake up. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. All right, I'm awake. Because DJT's got a combo to land. <laughs> God damn. Nicely done there from DJT to close things out and go up 2-0 in the set. Johnny Silverhand has no respect for me, bro. This man is just violating me. respect for anybody. Yo. But look what you made me do. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to play this for the for the rest of the night when we're done. <laughs> look what you made. You got me super excited for for Cyberpunk, man. Sheer out of your mind. I don't blame you, dude. I, I honestly listen. That's another thing I was I was worried about. I thought the uh, the release of Cyberpunk was gonna have all you guys just you know forget about Champions of the Realms, but holy shit, is the 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 community for for this tournament series is just it's really strong so again thank you so much everybody for for taking the time of your day to come over here and watch this tournament action you know this is all put on for you guys uh console gaming league getting on board for a second series and we're nothing but thankful for all of it man so shout outs to everyone shout outs to the viewers shout outs to the competitors and most importantly fuck you all i'm gonna go play cyberpunk bye I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Jesus. Take a joke. Nah, I am I'm actually leaving. I hope you guys enjoy the trip. <laughs> God damn it. Kodokan, Wake you the fuck up, samurai. Kodokan, you switch shot, switch to Jack. Kodokan, you wanna commentate? You don't impress me. Alright, never mind, never mind. Still pissed, huh? Violating me every single time. Oh, trying to open him up here. Yo, look at this name what from Slick Shots. The Queen of Pain, this dominatrix ass mm. bitch. Now, I don't know about you, okay? But, like, did they do anything to Jackie? Bro, they, like, like, like actually. They literally just plucked an ass hair out of her butt. <laughs> That's all they did. Oh they plucked a the little tiny ass hair out of her butt. And then they said, put it back in the game. She's fixed. This character is like, ridiculous. Uh, like, you know? I mean, DJT is dealing with it pretty pretty fair right now. Oh, that was kind of sick. Yeah, he through jumped the through, oh, through okay. the projectile. So, so that's one of the things that she got nerfed with for sure, is that dash punch. And, and maybe Slick Shots was rocking a little bit of the muscle memory of being able to get away with that before. Um, you can't do that as, uh, as often anymore. No, no, no. Matter of fact, you really can't do it 
random like that ever. I mean, you really can't put a broken character against DJT and talk about the character's glory. Because DJT will shit on that quick. DJT, bro, he takes a character to the lab. Oh, And trust my. me, he will fucking slice oh, the head in half. Oh, my. That's a flawless, ladies and gentlemen. And he goes, wait, I'm going to wait for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Oh, Spawn's ready for Wait. Cyberpunk as well? What the fuck? Holy Spawn shit. must be ready as well. The whole goddamn world's excited for that game. Also. Holy what shit. What the hell is that about? Spawn, what are you gonna do? Street Kid, Nomad, or, or, or Corp? Which one? Whichever one gets me away from Malboja. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Shit. I don't, I don't, oh, I don't know. Oh, shit. People, Keith David, everybody. I don't know what Keith David talking about. That was, that was about. Keith I don't David. Know what he's talking about, man. Keith David on the mic, everybody. Give it up for Keith David, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this match. Nah, but it's, here, uh, it's corporal all day. This match right here, bro. What's that? I don't think you're ready for this one. I don't want to tell you this one. All right, I don't want to know. Well, don't I'm going to let I'm, it be a surprise. <laughs> I'm going to tell you anyways. We got the mighty unjust going up against <laughs> Emperor Aztec. Aztec. Aztec making oh, a return shit. here. Oh shit. Emperor Aztec making a return here with the kitty cat. Let's Yo, see. I just want to give a shout out to somebody I see in the brackets right now. Oh shit. Um, I see someone in this bracket, pool three. He's right now in the winner semi, about to go up against Honeybee Makoso. What? If that's the one that I know, this guy is from my chat. No way. He's a Kodal Khan player, yes. And he's nasty. And I told him he's he's a Kodal Khan player. I'd always do viewer games, and he's he's also um he's he's a frequent viewer and I think a mod in my buddy Uncage's stream. <laughs> Yeah. Um. And and we played viewer matches once, and and I told him about Champions of the Realm, so he knows about Champions of the Realm. He watches. Um. And I told him I was like, dude, your Kodal is nuts. You should play. You should sign up. It's free to sign up. Just do it. And here he is right now. He's about to go up against Honeybee. He's having he's having a hell of a run. Holy through this shit. entire bracket. You see like how far this this tournament has reached, uh, from that perspective of it. But all right, we got the players loaded up. Mighty unjust facing off against Aztec. But he's just gonna rock that Liu Kang. Aztec, of course, with the Kodalus Khan. Kodal the Barbarian. Oh, is he using that skin? That's yeah, my favorite Kodal, uh, Kodal yep. Khan skin. It gives me, like, such Conan vibes, bro. Well, that's what it's supposed to be, right? Oh, is it? I don't know. I think, I I think, it, that, I think that's I, literally what it's supposed I to be. I thought it was supposed to be the Ultimate Warrior. Are you telling me it's supposed to be Conan? I mean, whatever, which one you want it oh, to be. Man. But I think it, it's like they did like a movie skin pack where they had like Aaron Black as Indiana Jones. They had uh, Jackie as like like uh, Alan Ripley or whatever her name is from, from Alien. That one was sick as hell with Jackie Briggs. Yeah, yeah, that one's Yo, a good one. Too. Look at this. We got the Day of the Dead Liu Kang right now. He's yeah. putting an ass. Oh, I forgot. This is mighty unjust. This man got the three piece and a can of soda. <laughs> <laughs> These names, bro. Yo, nice throw punish there. These variation the names. Good stuff. Was looking for the armor breaker, of course. That's one of the things so threatening about Kodal Khan in this game is just about anything he gets a hit confirm off of can combo into his armor breaker. Oh! So you pretty much have to hold that nice crushing blow there with the projectile. Very good stuff. These guys are playing a little neutral game here right now. Emperor Aztec waiting for the perfect moment to strike, and there it is. He's got oh, Mighty boy. Unjust locked down here on the right side, keeping it safe with the meter burn. Able to flawless block. Yo, oh. you saw how quick he was ready for that. Another one. Oh my god, he jumped oh, wow, out of nice. here. Oh. the interactable. Beautiful stuff there from the Mighty Unjust. Back to the corner. One last option to use, and he finds a way. This is the way. This is the way. Yo, that you, show was sick. Okay. I was just going to ask, do you watch The Mandalorian? I do. All right, good. Because if you didn't, we can't be friends no more. <laughs> All right, he's got the sun activated. What's going on here? He's going to get the parry. What? Oh. Yo, you know how that was sick. I couldn't Not even comprehend what happened. 
yo, that the, the whole thing that was happening there was crazy. He got the throw punish. He was burning Mighty Unjust, and he was gaining health back by standing in the sun. By the way, again, I want to mention Creative Royalty and Pains. If you guys are watching, please play off stream. Nice. Flawless block. Avoid that chip damage. Aztec does have the life lead. He went for a down two to try and shut down the use of the interactable. Mighty Unjust with the fatal blow. One little hit. One little hit. Gotta be so careful not to press any buttons wow. if you're Aztec, and he does get caught, and that'll be game one going to the Mighty Unjust. And I'll tell you what, I don't see these players doing any mercies or any of that type of shit, because just in case you guys oh, forgot no. the, the format of this tournament, it's eight weeks, only one person qualifies per week. At the end of the series, we're gonna have a total of eight competitors ready to battle it out for a ridiculous prize pool. The last season, season one, we got up to almost $4,000, which was beyond our belief. We had no idea it was gonna get to that point. And you know, just, uh, that was just with the community and with Console Gaming League, and that was actually insane. So we don't know what the prize pool is gonna be for this tournament. We don't know what the end game is gonna be for these players, what they're gonna be competing for. So earning that spot early on is key, is key to getting in a good position to win that big yep. prize pot. Yeah, especially because, you know, just, just being in that top eight finale, having a spot in that top eight Ooh, finale um, this early on, it gives you that opportunity to just survey the landscape, watch what everyone's doing over the next eight weeks while you're just practicing, labbing, figuring out, you know, different matchups, and then you're ready for that finale. It's, it's the prime position to be in. Yup. Not to mention, like, seeding for the finale as well, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the seating aspect of it too is pretty wild. But here we go. He's gonna bicycle kick him all the way to the right side of the screen. And for Aztec right now, flying at him with the Animorphs. Oh, the, it, that was such a clutch breakaway right there from Mighty Unjust. Oh, nice counter there from Aztec. Pushing Mighty Unjust all the way to the corner. Why is that goddamn cat fucking, why is it safe? That, you know, it was- So busted. It, it, yeah, like, it's like Jackie Briggs, you know? They gave Jackie Briggs a dash punch, it's safe. And then they, they just give the same shit to Portal Kombat, but this time it avoids projectiles. Yeah. I guess it just makes up for how much they bully him in the story. <laughs> <laughs> they said, look, this character is gonna get tortured in the story mode, but I'll tell you what, multiplayer, you're gonna hate him. <laughs> you're gonna hate fighting this character. He's gonna be the ultimate boss. You thought Chronicle was bad? Fight custom 30 portal. seconds left on the clock. Oh no. Destroyer. Oh no. Hold on. Punish. Oh, he went for the fatal blow. And that's going to be a punish from Aztec to take the round. Super you smart don't stuff. Impress me. You don't. You. You. Oh, you got something stuck in your throat? <coughs> you don't impress me. Yo, Kotal Khan is. It was a lot of. It was a lot of buildup. Yeah, Kotal Khan is. I don't think he's feeling too well right now. <laughs> oh my God, he nice. has three catches. And... That's something you rarely see. You know, neutral jump like like uh, Liu Kang's. I don't think it's the greatest. Oh! oh, down to crush. Oh man, if Aztec went straight into the armor breaker, that could have been like fifty percent. Does he have the armor breaker in this? Oh, wait, no. Did he change variations? I think the That's armor right, breaker actually. replaces the command grab, right? Yeah, he might have changed variations. Four, four. Back one. Nice throw there from Unjust. I didn't just have a chance. Four, four again. Oh, wow. Another throw. Oh, this is getting pretty wild. No flawless block on the projectile, and he goes through. He's dead. And he goes through. He's fucking dead from it. that. Oh, oh my god, god, dude. Oh my god. I didn't think that was going to do so much damage. Busted. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to do Can so much damage. Can you believe it? No, I Can don't you believe, believe it. it. I don't. You don't. You don't. You don't impress me.
Man, Kodo Khan is getting a little too casual right now. And he's, sip he's sipping a cup of coffee right now, sitting with his legs crossed, watching the tournament matches, and he's not impressed. He is not impressed. And you don't impress him. What is that, his cousin? Yeah. Holy shit, Kodo brought his whole damn family today. He brought his whole family and he left the war at home. You know why? Because he said that bitch is disgust. Whoa, yo, Kodo, chill. The hell? No, good for him. No, he's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Holy I'm shit. Sorry. I, I, I went too far. I went too far. Going in to game number three right now. Emperor Aztec up one game. I mean, tied one game apiece with the mighty unjust. Is he going to be able to close this out? Or is the mighty unjust going to unload the three piece? Wait. He has that and the, did he just switch variations? Yo! Yo! No, he didn't. I guess he just didn't have the command grab. This man's got command grab, armor breaker. What doesn't he have? He's got the kitty cat animorphs. I thought he couldn't have both at the same time, but I was, I was wrong. I don't think he has, I don't think he has command grab, does he? He does. It, he was trying to I do it. it. He definitely has it. Cause if he doesn't have command grab this game, then that means he switched his variation. He had it last game. He has to have command grab. So you don't impress me. Well then, Cyberpunk 2077, what do you want me to say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think that's the type of trade you wanna you wanna risk against a character like Kordal. He gets that one pizza pie connecting right, there's gonna be fucking pineapples all over your face and a crushing blow. Yep. Oh, oh fuck, they're good punish. Oh my god, that could have been it. Yo. Yeah, you, you're right. He's got the... Oh, wait. Never mind. He does have command grab. What? I told you. He's got everything. I'm getting up. I'm He's getting got up. everything, bro. I'm leaving. I'll never come back. Oh, thank god Mighty Unjust didn't push a button. That would have been a GG's for him right there. And, uh, that move's not punishable. There's just nothing you could do. You just look at it and you say, that's nice. I think your best bet facing off against Total Khan is to pray. Oh my goodness. The tick throw. I think it's Last a GG. Yeah. Into and the yep, sun. There's nothing you can do. That's going to be the game. Aztec goes up 2-1 in this set now. Wait. It says Mo your your boy Mokozo got DQ'd. Oh, he DQ'd? I don't know oh. why. I'm gonna have to tell him he's the piece of shit the next time he's in my stream. No, hold on. Uh, Mokozo, <clears throat> was that a purposeful DQ or what's going on here? Mary, we need Mary Luna. Emergency. Let me find out. Give me one second. I don't know if he's in the chat, but it's Johnny. If he's in the chat, Johnny and a bunch of numbers. You said he's in the chat? I, I was gonna say I don't know if he's in the chat. Oh, oh it was purposeful? He let he let Honeybee know. What was that? He let Honeybee know. He had DQ'd. Oh, he DQ'd. Yeah. That's very unfortunate. unfortunate. But hey, you know, shout outs uh to even participating and getting as far as you did. That could have been a crazy match, but hey, congratulations, Honeybee. You are sitting in winner's final, man. Good luck for that, that fight into top eight. This shit's about to get wild. It looks like... Yo, this... Wait. Honeybee's pool was way too stacked. Honeybee has to deal with either Mighty Unjust, Aztec, or DJT, dude. Or a high ranker. That's pretty nuts. That's, that's pretty nuts. That's scary. That's a scary one. Yo, worth mentioning, actually. Not worth mentioning, but uh, Mighty Unjustice switched to Sub Zero. Oh. He's rocking the sub pick. I thought the Liu Kang pick was still good, but clearly the uh, the pressure that's been applied from Aztec has been a little overwhelming. And I mean, when in doubt in an online tournament, what do you do? You go to the 50 50 monster himself. Amplified Ice Ball gonna connect. The breakaway there, a throw now from Mighty Unjust, has this corner, another throw, okay, 
Neutral oh, jump. Man. Two one into the low. Another low. One for oh, the overhead, but it got, got interrupted. Hit. He just got hit. Rib. And that should be the game. Mighty Unjust sends us to a game five. Do you see the tech though against Kotal Khan? Like it's risky as hell, but if you make that fucking that read, get hit. yeah, just get hit, let the yeah. grab whip, and then you get a full combo punish. A bada bing, a bada, bada bing, a bada boom. Very good you stuff. Don't. You don't. Hey, hey, Kotal Khan, man, you better stop with that shit, bro. It's a good match here, okay? <laughs> It's a good match. We're going to a game number five. I don't see why this doesn't impress you. You don't. You. You don't impress me. Jesus Christ, man. He's out of control. I was control. trying to usher him out. I was grab. I was, I was ushering him out of the studio, but like, Jesus. He's definitely out of control today. Yeah, he's a little too much. Yeah, honestly, man, next time he comes on set, I'm gonna have fucking Pampers Plus ready for his ass. <laughs> that fucking baby motherfucker. No, I'm kidding. Huh? <laughs> that baby motherfucker. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That piece of shit. I'm, right. kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That stupid motherfucker. I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. All right, we're getting into a potential final game here. Well, this is definitely a final game here. <laughs> Unless these guys get like, yo, what happens if they get to the last match, right? And they get a tied round. <laughs> and last they get match a tied round and a match extension. They just keep getting match extended over and over. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Champions of the Realms 3 and they're still looping match extension. Just looping it. A fucking Guinness World Record right there. Yeah. The most match extensions in the tournament setting. Legit. <laughs> gonna have freaking mk30 kotal khan is gonna be non-existent well he's actually he is no i was gonna say he is already dead right yeah well we got to put him in the background oh nicely done there with the combo into fatal blow that should be the round going to aztec i got a crazy theory i think they made kotal khan ridiculously busted just for the fact that they knew he wasn't going to be in any other game you know they say, yo, we're gonna they're, we're gonna kill with a bang. Yeah, they're they're like, we're gonna kill off this character, but we're gonna make him so memorable. We're gonna make him so fucking stupid <laughs> in the game that you're never gonna forget about him. Hey, that's uh, that's that's an interesting theory. Nice throw. Match point right now for Aztec. Is that fatal ball landed. Oh, I think he was looking for the flawless block. Good absorption there on the ice ball. Gets caught by the jump back. Walk up grab gets attacked. Forward two. Damn, a couple of missed whiff punishes. Oh my Mighty god. And just coming back a little bit. Forward two into creeping ice. Forward four. Gotta respect the frames. Okay, tick grab. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, dude, I think this is going to a final game, final everything for the fucking fifth time tonight. Whoa, hold on. Oh! But down two out of nowhere. Destroyer. Yeah, he can definitely make this comeback, but nope, the overhead Damn. catching him slipping. Mighty unjust. Tying things up here. Final game. Final everything. Get fucking hype. Total. Don't even think about it. Like, come on, man. Oh, he's parrying the ice balls, bro. This guy's on clutch factor 9,000 right now. Hey, yo, oh, the big mid. Run that shit back, baby. Threes, neutral jump, punish. Huge. He's going to get the tricky combo, 35% the a crushing blow. He gets the overhead into oh, the no. ice ball. Oh, he didn't have the meter to switch oh, sides. No. Again, crushing blow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Not yet. Oh, whoa, that movement. The wave dash. Oh, my overhead God. Again. Overhead into creeping ice. What is he going to do, Caboose? The big leg. Down He's one. forward fours. Oh, unblockable gets stuck, and that's gonna be it. The mighty unjust makes it happen. Now he's gonna go make himself a little popsicle. He's like, yeah, I yeah, won ice cream, ice cream, yay! <laughs> he turned into a fucking That's crazy. <laughs> he, tur he turned into a fucking child. Unbelievable. Holy shit. Sub-Zero right now, he's got the icicle. This man, he said, what do you want? One scoop, two scoop? You want the, the Papa Briggs BBC? Which one?
I took it too far. Oh I took it too far. Right, right. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not leaving the commentary. I said I'm sorry. What else do you want from right, me? You gotta go. We gotta get you out of here, buddy. No, 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 no. Enough's enough. Come on, man. Yeah, I know. Where the hell? Yo, get me in the turn. Get me in the tournament. Where's the John Rambo's at? Get me in there. Yo, is Kevo, Kevo the man got the mic on? Kevo the man, listen, if you want to talk that shit, talk that shit. It's the Champions oh, of the Realms tournament, oh, and shit. we're going to allow it. I'm your wish, man. So, did Rodney go for Katana? Yeah, I'm your wish, man. You went for uh, Melina. Rodney with Melina, you stupid. What are you stupid? You said Katana, you want me to read it. You don't know nothing. Uh, Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> uh, Mr. Stallone? I need to shut the fuck up. Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. Yo, it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's oh, what Rodney's got to learn right now. That's how winning is done. Rodney, you taking notes right now? You got Sylvester Stallone coaching you in the corner. If you don't win this match, so God help me, that's going to be the biggest blow up of 2020. Just before we get into 2021 too, lose a match while getting coached by Rambo? Oh my God, I'll be damned. <laughs> Kevin the man with the variation saw buzz taking round number one against Rodney is carried. Now, I'll tell you, man, I don't know if I'm right about this, but I'm pretty damn sure Rodney is a Katana player at heart. Now, a lot of people were moved that Molina was was back in the roster. So, you know, he's going to try oh, to do some work here. Very good stuff. Oh. The little nice. counter war and a down oh, to read of a beautiful. lifetime. Holy shit. That was so calculated. You knew Kevil the Man was just fishing that out. You yeah, saw he was going for the armor breaker there too. This should be the game guaranteed. Very good stuff, man. Kevil the man drawing first blood early on, making a statement here against Rodney. You said first blood? You know, um, uh, it's my movie. You heard about that? It's, I made that movie. Really? Mr. Yeah, Salone? First, yeah, first blood. I really enjoyed your last movie, yeah. man. Hey, thank you. Yeah. I like how you I took know. out all the all the bad guys. Yeah, you Rambo Last Blood. Oh, so that was Last yeah. Blood. That wasn't First Blood? Yeah, First Blood. Are you stupid? <laughs> you, you said you watched my movie. Black out. You know what? That's it. I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> Yo, this man. <laughs> This man is, if, if John Rambo assaults me one more time, uh huh, I promise you there's going to be some really, really bad news here. Oh, shit. I'm done taking this shit. Oh, my God. He lets the hat rip just like that. Rodney's carried. Just trying to advance in there. Trying to put some pressure right now. What was that? What was that down to? What was he trying to do? I'm not sure. Oh, he's going to catch him with the throw. Hold on. Good throw. Double the man. Setting up the hats all over the place. Rodney is carried. He's trying to find a moment of, of pressure, but like every time he catches him slipping, this is very reminiscent nice. to that Sweat MD match we were watching earlier. Where he'll keep getting a hit confirmed, but he wouldn't confirm the hit into the hit confirmed, but he got the hit confirmed, but the hit confirmed wasn't a hit confirmed. Because he, 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 he didn't confirm, get the hit confirmed. Hit confirmed. Oh, but he hit confirmed. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. I, I know he's. I, I've been there. Oh, the down two. Nice down two. Oh, that was sick, actually. And wow. The ground went to Rodney. Good stuff. Unbelievable. Rodney is carried. Do you think Rodney is carried or he has legitimate skill? I don't know. I mean, if he owns up to being carried, then it is what it is, right? As long as you admit it. The, the first. Stage. Nice combo there off the down two. I like the movement right now from Rodney. 
And and one thing you gotta respect from Melina players is when they don't use that telekick. You know, when when you don't see them using the telekick, you know they're just trying to instill fear. They're trying to make you yeah. realize that man, this guy, I don't know when the fuck he's gonna use it. He's probably gonna Huge do it now. Crushing blow combo. Oh, there it is! I told you! Wow. I told you! Wow! Manifestation! It's not manifestation! Completely I read just that. dude, these these Molina players are like tropical creatures in the fucking Australian rainforest. Like, no joke. You can read them <laughs> oh like a book sometimes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Kevin went for the fatal blow off the forward for the absolute mad lad, and it worked! A last ditch effort to tie the round. Amazing stuff Dude. right there. Kevin, the man right now, just completely robbing that round away from Rodney. Let's see. Yo, that is so wild that he could put the hat on the screen, still get hit. And the hat is just, it's still there. Yep. And that's the case with a thing. lot of moves in this game. What? Oh, nice. No, what just happened though? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? What do you mean? What the fuck was that? Even DJT popped in the chat. DJT said, <laughs> nice flawless block and it's looking like Kevo's gonna run away with this after stealing that last round indeed he will that's gonna be game two going to Kevo a complete highway robbery if I've ever seen one and I'm your worst nightmare oh shit did Rambo just know what push you out of the side to get that one in? He, he, he just, like, he cannot stop getting on the mic. Honestly, I think it's because you didn't you didn't get that itch in his back. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. I got you. I got you, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> oh, oh, hold like, on. Here we go wait, in wait. game number three. He, this is already game? No way. I don't. Yep. Rodney is is carried. I respect it. He's sticking with Molina. He wants to make this work. I respect it too. Yeah. yeah. And and you know you, you can't take this away from anybody because sometimes there's that one character that you are just so fond of you you just can't help but use him. You know you're like that's it. I'm dropping everything. I'm gonna dedicate all my time to this character right here. Now I'm just curious to know what this set would have looked like if Rodney stick with his day one character, which I believe is Katana. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess he is just committing to this pick. He feels confident enough, maybe more so than he would have with Katana in the matchup. I mean, Katana did get a couple of nerfs with, uh, with MK Ultimate. So, I don't know. Or maybe he just, you know, regardless win or lose, he wants to be practicing in a competitive setting with Melina to get more experience with his character because this is the character that he wants to play in the competitive, uh, environment. And yeah, look, I can tell you from first-hand experience. Me and Caboose can tell you from first-hand experience. These eight weeks, we thought this was long, but dude, this shit goes by so fucking fast. I'm yeah. telling you, by the time you know it, we're going to be in week seven, and you're not going to have no time to try to get into that finale. So it's very important. If you want to compete and, and just try your, your competition, and remember, guys, pro competition is actually up and running right now. There's tournaments for Mortal Kombat all over the place, so... See this as a training ground. See this as the ultimate ultimate yeah. battle. See this as whatever the fuck you want. But sign up for the Absolutely. tournament. Show that support. Get involved in the action. And get that experience. 100%. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Oh my god, Rodney right now. He's making something yeah. work here. Fuck it out, right? Yo, watch it. Right in front of the, the hat. Clock, this guy's got balls. 10 seconds of the clock. All you gotta do is block. All you gotta fatal do is block. Fatal blow. Fuck it. Off. Fatal blow. Oh! What? Oh no! Whoa. The ball roll got punished. The recovery is so bad on it when it whips. Bro. That was a heartbreaker. It was looking like Rodney was about to steal that round. And now match point for Kevo. Bro, I, I'm still I like... That was so unfortunate. I kind of wish Rodney was able to cancel into a fatal blow like a little earlier in that string, but... He just got screwed over. Really nice good stuff. Throw there from Kevo. Yeah, I think this is looking like a done deal, man. I, I don't see this going any other way. Kevo the man is just, he's looking too fierce. Oh, wait a minute. Rodney does not oh. look. Okay. Hold on. Now two. Wasn't able to get the full combo off of it. Gets the projectiles to land. 
He has Fatal Blow. Okay, gets the air to air. Yo, looking for the armor breaker. This man makes his comeback, bro. Okay, he I'm got out. it. I'm out. And he got it. Rodney's still in it. Rodney is Rodney's still in it. I'm sorry for saying anything. That's right. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit. And keep moving forward. Very good stuff, man. Rodney is carry just putting the power pressure on this man. He's got Rambo fucking shitting and pissing all over himself like a bum. I know. He looks like a sad story right now. Rambo, go fix yourself up, please. Okay, hold on. He's going to go for the hat spin. Nothing's there, though. Kevin the man. Oh, that, that, is that a... Is that... No, no, no punish? Nothing? No? That's punishable. Nice! Down to crush. Dude, when I was a second ago. Right I was watching, saying that I don't see Rodney taking this any other way. But oh my God, Rodney shut me the fuck up. Yep. This guy yep. is really putting that pressure here. If Rodney can take this round, that's gonna be huge momentum shift. It could oh, be the beginning of the end. Oh my God, that was a very Jump ballsy back, teleport. He goes with the down one, me. Catches wow. the down two. Rodney right now, staying alive, wow. taking a game. Rodney is alive. He is awake. And this is disgusting. Get her off, get her off my screen. Get it. Get this shit off my screen. I don't know, man. She looked kind of cute to me. What the? F you okay? Huh? Is everything, is everything okay with you? You all right? What did I say? I was hypnotized. I, what, I don't even wear mine. What's your issue? Let's see if he uh, sticks with the Kung Lao. Yeah, might as well stick with the Kung Lao. You know, one thing I see a lot in these tournament matches is people, they go off that 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 good character choice a little too quick. Like a character that I see in my mind, I'm like, man, that I think that works well for that matchup. So just switch right off it immediately. I forgot what tournament it was. It was a, a tournament I commentated recently uh, where the player... I think it was uh, Aquaman's Coliseum, the return of the Coliseum. The last match, the player beat like a bad matchup with a certain character, and then going into the next set against that same character, he switches. And I'm like, why? You had the momentum. You, you had like yeah, a little that is weird. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens here. Kevin the Man sticking with the Kung Lao. He feels very confident he can close this out. Up 2 1 against Rodney. It's Toto. He has I mean, the carry. Curry. He has the cushion to just sit here and see. Like, even if he loses another game, like, yeah, obviously, yeah. that's a shift momentum in Rodney's favor. But because you have that, that cushion of a game, you still have an opportunity to try and, like, download your opponent. But nice air to air there from Rodney, who is playing extremely well now. Oh, yeah. He's certainly awoken. He's going to throw the, the size. These two are about even as hell. I think if Rodney takes this, bro, this might be the, the this might be what he needs. If he takes this round, this one round, punish! Oh my oh god! My no! God. He could have ball rolled and down two and closed it out. That yeah, was a panic yeah. x-ray. But hey, we talked about this before. You know, when you're at that life deficit, when you're at that moment, you're gonna let it rip. You're not even gonna think twice. Fuck it, man. Sometimes, I respect the choice. Yeah, so, sometimes, like, with heat of the moment type of situation, you're not really, like, immediately thinking. Although, I, did Kevo have the defensive meter there? Could he have broken away? If he went for ball roll? I wasn't paying attention. But that's what I'm saying. He, even if he did, even not. if he did break away, he had the down two. No, but the down two wouldn't come out. You can break away before the amplification of the ball roll connects. Oh, so never mind. Yeah. That fatal blow yeah. might have been see, necessary. Yeah, see right there, like, Rodney may have been mashing for the uh, amplification of the ball roll, but didn't get the opportunity. But okay, this is going to be a punish off of the uh, neutral... Grab Kevo oh now my God. in a really oh tough position. Oh and it looks like Rodney's going to close this out. Rodney's tying it up this two to scary. two right now, bro. Out of nowhere, this, this motherfucker this brought us to a game five. What happened, Caboose? Uh, yo, I literally oh, remember a second oh, ago oh, telling man. you, I don't see this going any other way for Rodney, but... This yeah. man just turned everything around. He said, Destroyer, you go fuck yourself. I'm going to win this shit, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Yo, Rodney, don't talk to me like that, bro. Rodney, don't talk to me like yeah. that, bro. Really? I don't, that's, Rodney, that's you really deadass going to talk to me like that, though? That's really wow. fucked up, honestly. Wow. Yeah, I can't believe he said that to you. I'm sorry, man. Wow. You going to be all right? 
You think you'll be okay? Yo, you hear that? What? You hear that? Wait, what is it? I don't know. What is that? What's going on? What the fuck was that, bro? What was that? I don't know what's happening. I think something's, something's heading over here pretty soon, man. You better you better watch out. You better fucking barricade your windows, lock your door. Just make sure you're, you're barred up good, man, because I heard some weird shit just now. Round one, I'm really scared. You got me terrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, good command grab. Was that Cabal coming? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, nice grab. Did, uh, was there a variation switch? Because I see a different costume here from Kevo. Ice down to anti air. Uh, Rodney is prepared. Wait a minute. Yo. Even with the life deficit right now, he's playing so much better than he did in the He is, and he did go for a variation switch. I think he got off of that buzzsaw hat. Because Rod I, I think what the case happened here, bro. Like, that buzzsaw is a custom move from, uh, from Kung Lao, right? Not yeah. many people are going to be ready for that shit. If you're not playing against players like Kevo, players like Scar, that are using this buzzsaw move to the highest potential, it's going to catch you off guard. I think Rodney caught the download on that shit, and Kevo had to switch up the variations real quick. Mm -hmm. He had to go to a more, more reliable pressure, you know, rather than yeah. putting the bets on that buzzsaw hat. Yeah. Getting, I like the idea of not going for like a straight up character switch, but rather just a variation switch, sticking kind of with what you'll know or what you've been prepared for and what's helped you win. But now switching oh, up just ever shit. so slightly, there's a crushing world throw. Oh my god. Right now, Kevin kind of in prime position to try and close this out, but that fatal blow oh for Rodney god. could be very dangerous. This Ooh. could be very dangerous. Neutral jump. Get and that's a fatal blow confirmed. Rodney sends it to a final round. Every time, it's looking like Kevo's gonna close it out. For the last three games now, Rodney has found a way. Match point for both of these opponents. Final round, final game. The only leg up that Kevo has is that the Fatal Blow is still available for him. Oh my lord. She tried to go with the low, man. This is as close as it gets here. Yo, how many final... Yo, Caboose, how many game fives today, dude? How many? Yeah, I know. Nice air to air connect for Kevo. Big combo now. No breakaway from Rodney. Just hold that. Breakaway now, though. Oh, this is not looking good. Gotta get out of that corner. And he does. Good Holy air to air. Shit. Instantly into the teleport. These guys are about one touch away from sending either of them to the loser side. Rodney blocking so well. Oh. Oh Rodney. my god, he's no trying to go for the grab! On the throw. Come on, the man! He's gonna open him up! Yes, and, he's and that'll be it! Holy Kevo fuck. takes it! Oh my goodness! Kevo! After all that, after such a huge comeback from Rodney, Kevo with the variation switch was able to close it out and steals that set three to two. Dude. What is going on here? That's about the, the 10th, 11th fucking f game five we've seen today. Oh Unbelievable. The action has been unreal. And this is exactly what was to be expected. You know, coming into Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, just having all these new characters, all these new um, freaking variations and shit. We saw there, yep. Kevil the Man. He was utilizing something people aren't used to seeing with Kung Lao. He had that buzzsaw hat, putting that shit in place, acting like a fucking fake-ass ice clone. I don't know what the hell Kung Lao thinks is going on here. But Rodney, man, definitely adapting to the situation, trying mm -hmm. to make it work out. But Kevil the Man, just too hard of a wall to pass there, man. Gonna close it out there. Very good stuff to Rodney, though, Caboose. Very good stuff to Rodney. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Rodney still played really well there in a position where, just like you said, where you were like, yeah, I don't see Rodney coming back from this. We then saw him prove you wrong immensely with almost a reverse 3-0. He sent it to the final round, but the pressure was just too much to handle. And Kevo played really well in that last game to secure it. Big ups, though, again, 
to Rodney with the Molina gameplay, like doing doing really well with that it's Molina. about to go down, Caboose. You ready for this shit? It is about to go down indeed. These are the matches that get you into the top eight that'll be taking place this Friday. Very key matches for every single one of these competitors during this these top 16 matches. The good news is, though, is that if they lose, they're not eliminated, right? Yeah. If they lose, you go to the loser side, which, I mean, that is that is unfortunate, though. You want to be in there, especially in the top eight for Friday. You want to be there in the winner side because then you're, you're, you know, you're safe. You got a cushion to lose a game. And also, you get to stop playing for the night. <laughs> you, yeah, 100%. You can win, end up in the top eight, and just rest. You know, go play Cyberpunk. But if you lose, you're going to lose the side. You still got to battle it out. So let's see how this is going to go. First match underway. Oh, also, man, I, I, I see my homie in the chat. Uh, Python VS. What is up, Python? Joining the chat. Everybody hey, joining the chat. I appreciate y'all coming through, showing some support, checking out this action. As I don't even have the fucking names right. We got uh, Siru Paynes versus who? Who's he fighting? Uh, versus Bernanoni. Bernanoni. All right, let me get these uh, scoreboards correct here. My bad, my bad. There you go. Nice down two there from Burn and Oni. Burn and Oni, someone else we saw a lot of with this Jade. Beautiful yeah, this this there. Jade dude. He, I think this Jade took out. Um, I forgot who this Jade took out. He took out somebody that was heavy duty in here. I'm checking right. Oh, he took out some Meej. Vernon only took out some each 3-1 yeah. to get in this position he's in right now. So you already know this dude's about to go ham. Oh, down two crush. That didn't need to be a down two crush, but still, Vernon only going to take that round. Nicely done. Yeah, this is getting pretty heated here. Let's see. Oh, I like this variation Payne's is going for. He's got the ancestral Kung Lao with him, you know, the great Kung Lao yeah. whispering in his ear every time the time he says... Fuck him up. <laughs> Fuck him up. Nice. We're only gonna get a good 20% off of that. Really good stuff. Oh my god. This dude's got everything. He's got the great Kung Lao. He's got Z hat. What doesn't this Kung Lao have? Wait a second though. Burn it. Oh, you gotta get oh. the crushing blow. Oh, the oh. reeds. That was pretty nasty. That oh, was wait a crazy. Another one. Two grabs back to back. This man is putting a can of whoop ass in this corner. Wait a second. Oh, oh. He, he doesn't have a chance. Caboose. He doesn't He's going to go chance. into the fatal blow. This is a huge combo from Pain. Is this going to make. I don't know. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. But still, almost. Wow. Almost 40% for all that. Did seem like a lot. And there we go. Burn and Oni gonna get a hit confirm into a fatal blow of his own to close this out so oh, this is getting crazy this is getting crazy right now burning oni going up game number one drawing i'm gonna avoid first blood oh god damn it <laughs> you, you, you you're talking about first blood <laughs> it's my movie yo you, you watch, i feel bad you watch, Freaking Rambo sound, <laughs> Rambo sound like a schizophrenic old man in the corner right now. You say you say anything hey, that triggers it, he runs to the to the mic. Hey, man. He's really he's really upset that you didn't that you didn't watch it. Like that you were that, that you were talking about it the first time you didn't watch it. So you know he's kinda he's kinda upset. I don't know man. I don't know what to say. Like what do you want me to do? Shit. I'll tell you and what. And then I yelled at him for getting on the mic. I'll tell you what, Sylvester Stallone. He's feeling a little down. I'll tell you what, I'll take you out for your favorite ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Where are, we, where are we going? We're going to Carvel. I'm going to get you the dog shit special. Let's go. Uh, fuck that place. <laughs> this place fucking sucks. Yeah. He just left. He just, he just stormed out of the building. Oh my god. You really had to do that to him, for sure. Fart. Wait. You feel good about yourself after that, huh? I actually do. Hold on, though. He's gonna make a character switch right now, dude. <laughs> oh shit, my battery's dying. GG's, guys. We're gonna have to end the tournament. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't even know where the cable is. That's it. You know, I do actually kind of like this pick from. Um, is it Strayu? Is that is that, am I would I be saying that right or is it like S Ryu? I think you got it right, Sirayu. Okay. Sirayu Pains. 
You gotta emphasize the Z. I mean, Slick Shot's telling me to just say Ryu. How about we just call him Pain? I'm down for that. But it's Pain FZ. Yo, yo, yo. Don't talk about Cyberpunk in the chat because we will end the stream right now to go play Cyberpunk. Oh my goodness. Don't talk about Cyberpunk in the chat because we Ooh, will down end to the crush. stream to go play. Wait. Go for a second down too. He could have gone for the Fatal Blow, no? The game is like out right now, right? I think so. I'm gonna open up my Steam and check. Oh my god. Oh, fuck oh with nice me. corpse drop there for oh, pain. Fuck with me, god damn it. He's he's at SmackDown versus Raw. Here comes the pain. Dude, this guy is literally playing the piano with these fireballs on his ass right now, just launching him back and forth. Hell sparks <laughs> all over the place. It, it looks like he's playing the piano when he does hell sparks, right? No? A little bit. Kind of. Oh, nice. They trade in the air. And Payne. Oh, wow. Perfectly avoids all those hits to get the counter. Has that fatal blow. And he's going to punish into it. It's not going to be enough. But real good damage nonetheless. Real close to oh closing up the game, too. And potentially tying up these sets. We're tying up the set. Let's see what Bernanone is going to do to answer. So I can confirm the game is fucking playable, bro. It's out, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'll catch you tomorrow. Oh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Did you see that? Did you see that little taunt there? Walked up to Bernanone, went for the little smoke move. Hold on. Now he's going to do it. Yo. Yo. You know, just for the simple fact that Payne was able to make this character switch to Shang Tsung and able to tie things up here against Bernanone. That goes to show this man does his homework. You know, he knew the exact character to go to immediately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and then he did exactly what you... Shoot! 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 Yo, Shang Tsung is just... He's the greatest. That's that's another thing, too. Listen. I don't, I'm all for this new cast for the Mortal Kombat movie. I'm looking forward to the Mortal Kombat movie. I want to see what it's going to be like. But there is nobody who can replace Kerry Tagawa as Shang Tsung. And that was solidified with how he, what his performance was like in Aftermath, bro. Like, what he does in the story of MK Aftermath is just like, it's just perfect. It is, he is Shang Tsung in real life, you know? Oh, definitely. In the flesh. Oh, without a doubt. Without, there's no arguing about that one right there. Let's see if he's going to be able to give it to uh, Bernan Oni here. Very good. Going to catch the throw. Look at that, man. He's playing that spacing game. That's exactly what Bernan Oni needs to start doing more often. He needs to get that purple shit activated. That way, he could try to just, you know, walk him down. Corpse Drop does avoid the purple stuff, though, right? If I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, I don't think it technically counts as a projectile. That is, that is ridiculous. It's weird. But you know what? If, if anything, like... Let there be something that counters this friggin' move. Okay. He's nice. gonna launch on top of him, getting the head stabs. Well, hold on. Hold on. What the fuck? Wow. He let him go for wow. that pressure like three, four times in a row. That's flawless blockable too, I okay. think. Okay. Nice throw. This is it, down to the wire, Caboose. Down to the oh, wire. God. Oh, the oh, interactable. Wow. What was that? The interact, the smoke bomb that? interactable. Why was he going for the rising fireballs, though? Full screen. Yeah, I don't know what Reed was trying to make there. He, you got a point, but fuck it, man. It is what it is. He went for it. <laughs> he did that shit. Nice down two to counter the uh, interactable usage. He's just dashing back here. Oh, my God. Running in, going straight for the, da the dash kick, the dive, whatever the fuck it is. Was it turbo kick? Turbo kick, nitro kick? <laughs> yeah, we got into an ar uh, argument one time about it. <laughs> and then Goto Khan and all the guests started going in. Oh, he's going to tag him with the overhead. Here we go. Canceling the, the nice. run. Escape fail. Escape fail. That locks and loads the forward throw crushing blow. Jade is, is playing Mortal Kombat X, dude. Fatal blow on deck for Bernanoni. Certainly in a position to get a little hit confirmed Whoa, that into it. Right that could have been the chance. That was what he needed. Oh, no. Nice. He got the counter. Oh, the oh. flame skulls from the oh. ground. Pains. 
really delivering the pain here. Fight. Really delivering the pain. Draw. Here comes the pain. <laughs> Who is this? That throw crushing blow still loaded up, though I believe. For Bernanoni. This is Shang Tsung Brock Lesnar edition. Yeah. Very good stuff. Good damage right now. Pain having a really good final round. Hell of a life lead. All that can change though. In an instant. Nice neutral jump punish. And right out of the, the air. Rising fireballs. And that's the thing about Shang Tsung. Once he hits that life lead, he is frust is he just frustrates you. He makes you hang yourself. Oh. He's the meter. Wait, wait! So bad. How is a uh, nitro kick? How is Bernard oh, doing crush. this? No way. What is he no gonna way. do? No way. What? Oh, what? the amplification! Burning Oni! Oh wow, this is disrespectful. This is How the mad fuck did that corpse drop catch him from all the way down there, dude? No oh way! Oh my god. This is mad disrespectful from Payne as he goes up 2 1 in the set now. Unreal Engine 5.0. What the hell did we just witness here? This man, I thought he was out of range from that corpse drop, but unfortunately the explosion, it just had the biggest hurt box of fucking 2020 right there. Holy shit. Very unfortunate stuff for Bernanoni getting clipped. Up. Yeah, he tried to run out, bro. He definitely did. You know that song that goes, run. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. No, I know that. I heard about that one. Run. You know? All right, I'll have it for week two. I'll have it for week two. No way. I'll probably get us copyrighted. No way. <laughs> no way. The fucking dad just peeked his head in the room. <laughs> okay. Pain's right now up 2 1 against Vernon Oni. And yo, let's talk about Jade for a second. She's busted. With that mop move. The Lila's dance. Whatever the hell that shit's <laughs> The mop move, yeah. That shit does whatever it wants, whenever it wants. Barely punishable, meter burn completely safe with ridiculous pushback, and it's a mix up, a, a, a mix up off of the various 50-50 strings she has. I don't know a move what that gets better than that. Yeah, he kind of just steamrolled right there. Bernoulli definitely needs to make up some ground here. Oh, couldn't connect that combo. The wiggle stick. Oh, neutral or neutral duck on the throw, but no full punish. There's, There's a punish. Stuff. Catch the air there. The blocks. He's gonna rain corpses from the sky. What's it gonna be? Activating the purple stuff immediately. Oh my God! Nice. Ready for down it? Two. Yeah, that down two was juicy. What? Egg it stuff. Dude, that was actually like, like that was kind of visually mind fucking. She went through the she, she literally went through the fire and flames to get that hit. Oh my oh, god. She did it on expert? No, she did it on harder with a controller for the achievement. Yo, he oh, that, that is going flame. to be on life alert right here. He is going to be on life alert right now. If Paynes takes Not this round. Okay, no, corp drops all over the place. Oh god. What? Oh, oh the yo, the read, was that bro. a read? That was the read. Oh my god. That was if a big brain right there. The read to make. Pain. Ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Hit that lag switch, baby. Fuck it. Wiggle that fucking cable. Smack him in the face with the lag switch deluxe. Whoa. Knock him out of the air with a down two. I don't know, man. Pains is making Shang Tsung's down two look so good. Very good. Look again. This is it, man. Down to the wire here. Burning Oni on his last limbs. 
Imagine taking out some meats just to lose to the fucking Shang Tsung of a lifetime. Oh no, he, oh, breaks, no. he breaks away, he breaks away. This is it. He has to be extra careful. What? And the late amplification again! That's two games in a row that we saw that happen, Destroyer. That's two games in a row where Bernanoni thought he had the opportunity to run in and didn't. Oh man, a heartbreaker. But uh, Sryu Pain FZ is gonna take that three to two, or sorry, was that three to two? Or was that three one? Three one and we'll make it into top eight for this Friday. That was for top eight. I totally forgot that was even a top eight match, man. Those guys, yep. wow. Wowzers. Um, let me see who's next. Uh, Biohazard, if you can please, if, if you're uh, watching the stream or something, let us know when you're ready. But very good stuff, man. Bernanoni is still going to have a fighting chance in the loser side. Mm -hmm. And looking at that not loser over. side. Oh, he's actually, he's got a lucky break here. I'm not going to lie, because Samij I decided to, to DQ himself. Samij decided to DQ himself. So, you know, Bernanoni, oh. he has to go up either against Sosig Nash fan, Abyss, to, to make it into that um top eight for Friday. The Mighty Unjust against Honey B. Let's see how this goes. What was that, Koro? Let's see who's gonna wake the fuck up, Sam. Wait, what? You don't impress me. Oh, shit. Hey, Koro's pissed. Koro's legitimately Damn, pissed right now, bro, because he said he you doesn't like delays. Fight. He said he doesn't like delays. He oh, said, if, he said if this match is delayed for another minute, then he's gonna fucking come crashing into the stream and he's gonna Wait, wipe out my on. whole setup. Hold on. He doesn't like delays. What do you think about Cyberpunk? <laughs> he hates that game. He's not even oh anticipating it. Really? You tell me Kodo's not even gonna play Cyberpunk. He's not. He's, he's not. gonna be the only person in, in fact, that world who hasn't played Cyberpunk. In fact, while everybody's playing Cyberpunk, Kodo Khan's gonna go play Mortal Kombat X and he's gonna hear himself just fucking spam you don't impress me nonstop. <laughs> That's what he's gonna do. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Game number one underway between Honeybee and the Mighty Unjust. Mighty Unjust going to be rocking that Sub-Zero. Honeybee still with that Dovora. Listen, I don't I care what... a lot of people's variation names. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, man, I don't care what you say about Devora. Honeybee's Devora is the best thing on the screen at times. This shit is ruthless. From, like, performance, sure, but, like, from looks. I don't know. If he's got Nurse Devora, then Looks is going to be uh, at his prime. No. That's the negative. Ghost, I right? like Nurse Devora. The other okay, Devoras, though, are disgusting. Hold on. Only a real Master Destroyer. Escape fell off the throw. Only a real Master Destroyer. Oh, nice tech. That's oh. going to shut down the Oh, my field. God. The uh, double back dash throw. to avoid that. No Destroyer. fucking way. Destroyer. Destroyer. Just pulls his Only off. a real Master. Oh. oh. He was looking for the forward two into fatal, wasn't able to connect it though. I was about to say, dude, this man is literally trying to clutch his life away here. Just yeah, I was gonna say, right now. I love how a lot of people just have their variation name as like, please buff a move or something for this specific character. <laughs> they, gotta send, they gotta send a statement across the, uh, the online scene. I don't know, man. If you don't know what's going on against Devora, she just like, she eats you alive. That right there, that little bug that she plays down on the ground, you saw that. Mighty Unjust trying to slide out of there, but nope, the shit sat his ass down. Oh my god, gonna go in with the forward four big leg. What's going on here? Whoa! Ooh, oh man, no punish. Forward two in the slide, crushing blow, gotta spend it. Jumping into the low, and that's the round. And that's the round. Wow. Just like that, it's robbed. What's uh, the rob? Well, let me tell you. The rob was the low into the fatal blow that time. <laughs> yep, that was the rob. Yep. Unbelievable, mighty unjust. Completely making a 180 turnaround there in that match. Tying things up here one to one in this oh, match. This is crazy, what dude. Um, over there. That was clean. You try to catch him with the ice axe. Oh my god. You said he used an axe body spray? Nah, Sub-Zero don't use that nasty shit. 
Ooh, here we go. Into the side switch. He puts him on the Beautiful. right side of the screen. Almost clipping him with that air axe, but no. Honeybee's just getting tossed around like a ragdoll here. Holy shit, catching okay. the punish. Nice throw. Gonna have the corner here. Definitely a chance to come back if you're Honeybee. With that neutral jump. What the fuck is all this neutral jumping, dude? That's the Honeybee special. Lord. Oh! oh he no! saved! No! He saved! I don't believe it. Yo, this oh would be God. the tale of a lifetime. He jumps oh out of there. God. Blocks the ice axe. Holy shit. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But that's going to be enough for the sleeping ice. That was insane. Yo, did he do that purposely? I don't. Did I he have no clue. Did he do that purposely? Yo, if Honeybee, I bro, don't know. I'm gonna tell you right now. If Honeybee would have did it, if Honeybee would have did that, bro, that would have been the most monumental MK11 moment of all time. Avoiding an if ice Honeybee slide with the last hit of a fucking string and got a punish. I would have lost my fucking mind. But the recovery, it looked like it was a bit too slow. If he actually came back there, that would have been just in. Sanity. What a what a finish too. Like it was a scramble. It really was, man. But mighty unjust. He's gonna he's gonna come victorious in that set, taking game number one here. Honeybee. Let's see what he's gonna do. But yo, I gotta say, man, that that little bug thing he throws in the ground that starts spewing out all the baby bugs. It's working yeah. wonders for him. It stops Sub Zero from an life. ice multiple times. Multiple times it saved yeah. his life. Fight. in the flawless block. All right, a nice little nice. back and forth. <laughs> Combo. So, correct me if I'm wrong, though. This variation, he loses the armor-breaking restand, right? I honestly don't know. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't be surprised if he still has it, honestly, man. The shit I've seen these characters coming through have been insanity. Oh, he fucking restood him with the overhead into the little. Oh bug. yeah, he still got it. That was okay. nuts. Honeybee really showcasing how dominant the warrior can be right now with these custom moves. I mean, she's always had them, but the thing is, she can like, she can put together certain moves that just make the bug so much more pressureful. Look at this. That's not even a word, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's pressureful. <laughs> it's a fucking word now. Man, look at all the pressurefuls. Yeah, a lot of pressureful combat uh, combos here. <laughs> Wait a minute, dropping the combo. Now Honeybee gonna hit him with a lot of pressureful. Let's see what he's got here. Oh my god, the pressureful is looking oh, insane. Man. That's the a overhead lot of, pressureful there. That's a lot of pressureful, bro. Class ever seen pressureful. <laughs> That's pressureful. Oh, the neutral, or sorry, the um. Oh, well, the neutral yo, there's a rub. Well. If this wait, kills him, bro. Wait, wait. Oh my god. I'm leaving. God, you gotta be kidding me. I don't know what just happened. You gotta be kidding me. When in doubt, forward to Fatal Bluff. Nice. Oh, here we go. Catching him with the back one on the trip guard. This is good stuff right here. Mighty Unjust. Just about evening up the life bars right now. Dude, Honeybee needs to get oh, he needs to get some break. damage in there. There it is! Nice. Let's go jump. Let's see what strong tool for Devora. He's gonna go for a setup. He's gonna put the bug down. Yup. Yep. Stop him! Wait, what why didn't the bug, bug... dead it? The what? bug got deaded. So you can dead the bug? I don't know. I don't even know the properties of this fucking bug, bro. <laughs> I don't even know what's going I on think here. That is potentially it. Oh, Honeybee actually I think Honeybee could have broken away there. <laughs> you said the bug got deaded. 
Oh god, that is I, honestly I don't think like I think Honeybee could have broken away off that slide and maybe still survive. Can we talk about Damn. why why did the bugs not come out? Like what like happened I did to the it. bugs? I, told you, I literally said it. What else do you want me to say? I know, but like are what you stupid? What does Are you dumb? What right. what gets the bugs deaded though? Like you know I you know what it is? Actually, I think I do know what the answer to this is. It's because um when your opponent is too pressureful, like there's <laughs> like the bug just doesn't come out. Sub Zero Devora. <sighs> Yo. You know, you know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. That's my language. I, I, <laughs> that's exactly what I speak. I know about the pressureful. So let's see if he's gonna oh, be Lord. able to apply it here. <laughs> Honeybee right now down 2-0 against the mighty unjust. This is looking bad. I, I oh, always man. say this. If there's one character you don't want to be down 2-0 against, it's Sub-Zero. Or you, oh, you don't want to be up 2-0 against Sub-Zero either. It's like, you can be down 2-0 or up 2-0, and the character is still a nightmare to go up against. You just don't want to be up against Sub-Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. It, it's that, that's where it ends and begins. Oh, nice. There we go. Rot Teleport going to connect. The bug's out, but it got deaded again. He yeah, but he didn't even touch him. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, he didn't even get touched that time, no? I think I think maybe it has to do something with like you get hit in some way. See, like right there. Like I think if you get hit before it opens up, oh. maybe even on block. I don't know. Maybe the chat can help out a little bit. Oh, hold like, on. See now, now it's coming out. Oh, the read, but he didn't get it. He didn't capitalize on it. That is huge. Get that punish. Okay. He's got it. Okay. Holy shit. You saw that shit? Imagine they gave the a teleport where she just like goes like a swarm of bugs all over the place. Give her a medium, short, and long yeah. teleport. Oh my oh. god. Incubating Sub Zero right before our eyes. Gonna go with a massive quarter combo. Bro, this is gonna be huge. Yes. Yeah. This is gonna be. Oh, he had a break away. He had a break away. Oh, slide doesn't connect, but still gets him out of the corner. Mighty unjust now. Needs to find a little bit of momentum. He is up 2 0. So he needs one more game. Good counter. Oh, man. Be a good combo with the setup, and that'll be the game going to Honeybee. Played extremely well there. But Mighty Unjust being up 2-0 in this set, now 2-1. Definitely has the cushion to let a game like that slide. So let me get this straight. Um, Honeybee uh, is sacrificing his armor breaker restand for that bug setup pressure. No, no, no. The chat did confirm for me that, that he still has the armor breaker restand. So why he hasn't just, he gone for it? I saw multiple moments where it would have made sense. I think he's just opting to have the setup as a, as a better, rather than even like worrying about using the restand and the pressure that he can maybe get from that. There's just mm. more pressure to be applied with the trap. Mm. Mm. Unless the chat was lying to me, but I don't think the chat was lying to me. No, the chat's pretty truthful sometimes. If, if there's anybody that will know, it's Bookworm. Not only is his name Bookworm, but he also plays Devora. Here we Bio go. As it says, we can run it, and if the lag persists, you can DQ my ass. Oh my god, did he save my ass? Yeah. God damn it. This is a swear word. Like, this is a PG stream. I don't know why he would do that. Nah, yo, Biohazard, I'm seriously going to keep my fingers crossed, bro. I truly want you to get a fair run at this top eight spot. So I really hope your connection is going to be able to hold up. So everybody, please send a thought or a prayer towards Biohazard's connection right now. Pray to make him hold up. Yeah. Positive manifestation. I think it's Kelvin the Man. You know, every time he says, you know, thank you, God, for waking up, he said, God, fuck this dude's connection today. Kevin got powers, bro. Kevin got fucking powers. Nice down two there from Honeybee, shutting down the forward two from Mighty Unjust. Says, "Fuck that overhead," and gets caught by it. And, and it gets caught by it again. Hold on, man. Are we seeing? Oh, this is corner. Nice corner annihilation. 
but Honey Bee getting it down soon. Mortal Kombat Annihilation right now. The overhead into the ice ball. Mighty Unjust. One kick away from going into match point. Wow, that was a, that was like standing two city for, for the entirety of that round. Good stuff there from Honeybee off the anti air. Gonna switch sides. Here we go. He's the got trap. the pressure set up, and I like that. He went for down one meaty. He didn't want him to wake up with no buttons. Honeybee, right now, both of these two staring at each other. Oh, he let go of block. Hide ice ball. I don't think he was expecting that amplification on that ice ball just there. Oh, very unfortunate. Sub Zero just, just having hurt. his way. Go for the low. Backing up now. Oh, that could have been a punish off the interactable. He missed the opportunity. Or maybe he was just out of range to be able to even do it. Oh, he thought that overhead was going to connect. Honeybee was ready for it. For Honeybee. Is it now for Honeybee? Oh, could have been oh that's, a that's a GG. That could be it. And it will be indeed. Mighty Unjust going to take this set 3-1. to one. And what's the sound he makes when he's making a little popsicle? I forgot what I did, honestly. Oh, man. <laughs> I forgot what I did. It was so some crazy so shit, though. Weird. It was. Yo, Honeybee, very good effort, but um, you still have a chance in the loser side. I know Samij got sent to the loser. He said, fuck that shit. I'm going to go play Cyberpunk. I know you want to do the same, but hey, man. You might as well try your luck for that top eight spot in the loser side. It doesn't hurt. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to be going into our next match here. Which is going to be the biohazard one. And hopefully he's able to connect this time. Oh, hope he's able to connect this time. You know what I'm saying? And that was funny though. Because when that match did start. A job's a job. When that match did start. Kevil the man and bio. They were both like. uh, What's going on? Crazy Frog said, what's going on, 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 on? Bing, bing. You know? <laughs> all right, let me see. <laughs> uh, all right. Kevin the Man versus Biohazard. Let's get him in here. Like I said, everybody give a thought and a prayer right now to uh, Bio's connection. Because this shit is having some troubles. That would be nice that we have no more connection issues from here. So fingers crossed that everything runs smoothly. Hey, I, I, I got to clip it. Somebody's got to clip it. When Caboose was like, um, Caboose was talking about, oh, we had no connection issues, blah, 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 blah. And literally the match right after he says that fucking lag galore. That was a historical <laughs> moment. <laughs> I feel week yeah. one. Week one's already made some like prime moments, so I am <laughs> fucking. I love it. I love it. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah, this dude is the dark sorcerer of uh of fucking Canada. Apparently, he's got to be careful. Okay. Is that what they call me? That's what they're gonna start calling you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we got Kevin the oh, man yeah. in here right now. He's looking more serious than ever. Again, guys, we're going to be praying that this shit is able to be stable. Hey, I got to make a mixtape. Scorpion. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing the game no more. It was a good run. It was a good run. All righty. Hopefully, I don't want to jinx it. I'm not even going to say it. Let's just get into this next match. We got Kevo going up against Biohazard. Same characters from when we saw them the last time. I see a Jade. I see a Collector. Here we I go. forgot to change the names, dude. I'm so sorry for the really good You're production right now. Lost. I'm sorry for the top tier production right now, guys. Unbelievable. Katana won't stand for All right, they're staying with the same matchup. That's respectful. I like that that they go they went for the same matchup. You know, that would have been scummy if like one of them switched. Kinda. Mm. I guess it wouldn't have been. Oh, it's been a Bro, I'm telling you, Kevin the man, he's woke with this fucking Delilah bullshit. He is woke with it. I just want you to pay attention to the various different strings he's gonna cancel into Delilah's dance. Why it's coming right now? Oh no. Oh, I thought. 
Well, that you see, Kel Kelvin the man, th that's the thing though. Like, I would have been blocking, waiting for the Delilah's dance. Oh. Oh no. This is so unfortunate, man. Oh, oh no. Well, you heard it. Bio said it himself. Oh. He's gonna have to take the DQ. Yo, Honeybee, you gotta let this man in your house when shit like this happens. Honeybee gotta hop in the whip and, and pick up Biohazard and take him to his crib at this point. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's too much at this point. But yo, very Damn. unfortunate that we're not gonna be able to see how that plays out. But congratulations to Kevin the Man getting in to the top eight for Friday. Shit, Kevo's chilling. I don't know if Kevo the Man's gonna be playing Cyberpunk tonight, but this motherfucker is chilling. This is it, guys. We're getting into the final top eight for tonight. We got E Scorpion versus K7 Showoff. The ultimate battle for tonight. Oh, K7 whipping out the rain. I'm excited. Hey, Yo, are, so we, are we? That doesn't talk about Cyberpunk just for that. We're gonna. That's all we're gonna talk about for the rest of the Ban stream. him. Ban him. Yo. <laughs> Bio, am I banning you from loser side as well? I said banning, DQing you from losers as well, or are you are you like are you like completely done? Yeah, I think it's done. I think that connection is finished for tonight, bro. Oh shit, I forgot to switch the scene, bro. But Damn. here we go. We got K7 facing off against I Scorpion, who is rocking Jackie. Where K7 is rocking that rain. Yo, I've seen K7's rain, it's and sick. it's goaded. It's sick. It, it's goaded. Yeah, I, I definitely, I've been tuning into his streams recently just to, like, lurk and, and check out that rain. And it is quite something. He has a variation. Uh, oh, the, he's using the one I was just about to talk about. Stop zoning me. Where he uses the, the portal rift that absorbs projectiles. And then he utilizes uh. rain's stupid fast projectile to just, like, counter zone you at a crazy level. Right. He's not going to be doing it as much here because, you know, it's Jackie Briggs we're talking about. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, is that Thor going to do extra damage? Oh, man. This it barely definitely is. He's setting it up. Oh, God. He's setting it up. Oh, and look at that. Hot. I'm telling you, I think it's a dangerous move to go for. K7 Shroff going up against a character like Jackie Briggs. Yo, I just realized this fucking guy is using the, the projectiles to chip you out and leave. What is this? Yeah, that's pretty busted. What is this? <laughs> Excuse That's me? Yeah. Oh, he's also got Hydro Boost. There's the Rift in time. Nice, caught the low off the back three. Catches the overhead there on the one, three, four. Nicely done, and that potentially is gonna be the round. Yes, it will. I've taken it. Very good oh, stuff. Okay. Yeah, again, you know, this is a really crucial match right now for K7 Show Off. This is to get in to the winner side of the top eight for Friday. And, you know, who doesn't want that spot? This and is great. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did K7 compete for Champions of the Realms 1? Did we see K7? I think we did, like, a week or two, maybe. I'm pretty sure we did. But, like, you know, the competition for Mortal Kombat is at an all-time high right now. We got pro competition on yeah. the line. We got yeah. various content creators hosting events. We got uh, Mr. Rockman, the return of the Coliseum is, is inevitable. It's coming any minute. We got Slayers, 2v2, tour everything. We oh, got man. so much MK tournament. K7 is burning. Or was burning there. Yes. Oh. In inevitable. Oh, you want okay. You son of a bitch. <laughs> In inedible. 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 No, no, I go like this. You know, it's gonna be inedible. And then, yeah, it's gonna be nuts. Wow, E Scorpion go. taking the you know, Scorpion. This is not good, man. I mean, this is good for Scorpion, but this is not good for K7 Show Off. Because uh, apparently, well, not apparently, I accidentally skipped over his uh, match numerous times. Mary yelled at me for it, and I apologize. I apologize, K7, for skipping you a hundred times and making this match very delayed. But, you know, this is it. This is crunch time. Ignore all that shit and focus. Focus up, baby. You got to clutch this out. You got to get that fucking win here. If not, E Scorpion is going to run away with that hamburguesa deluxe. What? He's going to get a tototeta too? No, no, no. Don't give him that. Don't give him. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't give him that. 
Yo, that Sub Zero looked demonic. You saw that shit? No. Did you miss it, you son of a bitch? What did you say to me? That's it. Spawn. Go get him. Let's make clones. Look what you did. So we see. Uh, I see a little um, variation switch from K7. What's the Indian force? Is that, is that the little... That's not the rift. Is it? Lightning? Huh? It might be. Who? Who? Yeah. K7 oh. Rock. Oh, went for a high. Gets coming in. Down two crush. Down two crushing blow out of nowhere. Wait a minute. K7 show off is... Yo. You think if K7 loses this one, he might be going to a character that... He might be more knowledgeable of. I mean, he fucking knows Rain like sure. probably the back of the hand at this point because he's been playing Rain nonstop for like the past three weeks. I don't know what's happening here, man. This this Jackie Briggs looks messed up. This Jackie Briggs looks messed up. I'm gonna catch you later, bro. I'm gonna go smack a smoke a fat blunt. I'll be back. All right, yeah, have a good one. Nice. Jumps in. K7 doing well. Has the life lead. Oh, wow. You never really see that move used as like an actual anti-air. Oh, shit. He's put the, the, the chip damage on the ground. The damage over time. Oh, not like this. Oh, Dude, this is, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Pacific no. alien on the screen? What the fuck just happened to his life oh, bar? God. Melted right oh, before God. our eyes. This guy. He needs to do something here and now. This Jackie Briggs is definitely getting carried away right now. Oh! Oh, no, oh no, my no, no, god! No, 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 no. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now, bro? Bro, are you serious right now? Wrap this up. Wrap it up. Yo, chat. Put on, put on Cyberpunk. Let's go. I'm getting out of here. Chat, I'm are gone. you serious right now? I'm gone. That was, uh, that was, uh, that was pretty insane. That, that is pretty fucking ridiculous. Super unfortunate things we're going to witness here as this man is like, he's on the verge now. I think this is the part where K7 has to sit in this character select screen and just, yep, think about it. Think about it for a Spawn. second. Oh. Spawn? He's calling in. He's calling in spawn. Shang oh, fucking island clouds. Another soul for Malposia. Well, he is locked into this pick. Down 2 0 against Scorpion's Jackie Briggs. So he is locked into spawn. For the remainder of the set, that that skin, that gear looks sick. Oh, try to absorb the projectile off the back forward two there. Now let's see what can K7 do from this full screen. Back to the wall. Very good. Reverse stuff. three. Oh, okay. Catches it down two. That's a good trade. Oh no, this is not where he wants to be now though. Kind of dashes back and takes a little more damage over time. Not much other options though, otherwise he'd have to face all the pressure and here we go again, Scorpion with all the pressure. Wait, okay, gonna spend the crushing blow. This I is it, like man, this is it. Because you need, yeah, you need one little hit confirm and a fatal. Oh my God, I don't know if he's gonna get a standing three. Oh, oh that was oh, so my ballsy. God. That no was pain, so no sick, game. but he just wasn't close enough for it to punish. He absorbed the projectile, but Scorpion was able to recover quick enough to block. 
Oh, he's gonna get the grab immediately. Here we go. Another grab throw. Man. For the back one, standing three. Nothing there. Big counter from Scorpion. The life lead increases. And the jump in will work. K7's got no defensive meter Dude, this to break is, away. This is fucked up. Has to eat 30%. He's burning. This is bad. Yo, wait a minute. Yo, wait a minute, Caboose. He's Scorpion. That? I think this guy just recently won one of the Liga Latina Pro Competition uh, tournaments. Oh, man. I think E-Scorpion, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I think E-Scorpion is actually one of the Liga Latina uh, final winners. Like, this guy is no fucking joke. This guy is, is no... Scorpion or I-Scorpion? I-Scorpion, E-Scorpion, I don't know. But yes, look, in the chat, yes, he did, bro. This guy is... This is pro competition right here, bro. This is pro competition player Damn. right here. I mean, K7 is Damn. definitely pro competition player as well, but yo, this man with a really clutch Jackie Briggs mix variation here, making his way into the winner side of the top eight for this Friday. K7, you still have a chance though. Don't forget K7, you still have a chance to get into that top eight. A lot of top players like to get into this tournament. Mm -hmm. As soon as they get sent into the losers, they DQ. Like you still have a chance to get into the top eight to earn some money on Friday. So you might you got right. so far, you might as well play the rest of your matches. Everything else happens off stream. Should just rush through that shit. You should harass your opponent. There's, there's and, been and, plenty of instances yeah. where we see from the loser side make a run in top eight, you know? All the time. All the time. And I definitely want to see K7 try to make that run, try to get that spot into the top eight. But yo, caboose. That was week one, baby. That was it. Week one. That was week one pool. It. Yeah, it was a pretty awesome week. That was uh that was pretty awesome. I'm I'm sorry again to Biohazard. It sucks. I I'm sorry I jinxed it with the connection. Um, but besides that, we had a real good number of matches there. Super, super fun. Uh, and hey, it's just we're just getting started. This Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We got top eight going down between all the competitors you've seen and some of the competitors that you will see later on and make it from the loser side. Uh, and then next week, Wednesday, it'll be happening. Week two for Champions of the Realms 2 on my channel, twitch.tv slash caboose. Of course, as always, we want to thank CGL Console Gaming League for being the sponsor of this tournament, committing $1,000 to the prize pool and $150 each and every week for the top three of every top eight. This is amazing. And we're like I said, we're just getting started, guys. We got eight weeks of this.